All right, let me know if that's better. There. Okay, we're not just going to hop into it. We got to see what's going on here. We're going to be building a new deck. What do you guys think? Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Pirates, 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 pirates. By default, we're going to click Onslaught. And then I might actually change it to Reckless. There we go. First, second, and third. You know, we actually had to restart. So, hate to burst your bubble, man. But, uh, welcome in, guys. I'm trying to get the chat up here for us. Okay. So, let's have a look at what we could do here. I'm just going to be adding a few cards, and then we'll, we'll sort of refine it, and I'll put it in deck builder view here for a sec, okay? Um, let's see. Ship. I had this urge, man. We gotta, we gotta make this, we gotta make this premium. There we go. I had this urge to play pirates. Gonna start off with two of those. Two of those. Kyra Troll's just a good card no matter what, right? It's just great. I think I kind of want to play with that. It's not needed, but it's not bad. I could do like the whole Avalak thing and then go and play Kyra Troll and play like the scenario and all that, but I don't think I want to do that either. I don't mind crack. I feel like we need funeral boats. You know, it's starting to kind of look like portal would be really cool. I just don't want to be the portal guy, you know? <laughs> oh, lately, I've been just wanting to play portal and everything. You stuck at level 8 with their vampire deck? Uh, let's find out about pirates. Yeah. This card got some buffs. What do you have in mind? Um, whoops. This card... By buffs, you mean buff? One? Singular? This got nerfed. I think it was a five, wasn't it? Lower provision. Oh, yeah, they brought it down to... Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is true. They bumped it up to nine for a long time. Which was not comfortable. Makes sense to play what's in. Where? Don't tell me my boys got bu uh, nerfed. I've only been away for a couple weeks. Can you move the camera? Yeah, I can move the camera here. I was actually thinking about dwarves for a second. I was thinking about... Uh, I was thinking about the other homies at 5p. We'll do Mork. Probably play Fleet, just... Uh, to be safe with that. So we got sort of the essentials. Eisenhell, how you doing? The essentials are here. For discard, at least. Discard pirates. If it doesn't work well with discard pirates, we could always pivot to... Like a discard with uh, Yuta and then doing like the point slam after the fact. That could be a thing too. But for now, I kind of just want to play pirates. And I like control. I 
feel like double gutting is just comfortable. Seagull could be good too, but double gutting is like direct control. Let's fill up the, the heavy side for a second here. Discard, Pirates, I like Sunset. Sunset's usually pretty good in this uh, instance here. We're drawing a lot. Snowdrop, mm. We don't really need much more drawing, to be honest. Like, if I put in Decree, I think Fukusha is like an autoplay. Darren? Darren's not a bad card. I'm always, like, wondering if I should slot in Darren or Deregare in these types of decks. And sometimes I do both. Sometimes I choose one. If we're playing discard, Compass is not even worth it anymore to me. How do you guys feel about Compass at 11? It's a headache. It's a headache, no? Kyre Trolled feels good. It's just a good card. <laughs> like, regardless. Compass, yeah, I'm glad they, they, they shot it in the foot. <laughs> it was uh, such a crazy card. Um... Ten was okay. Eleven is like, why don't we just play the card that we intended on playing to begin with? You feel me? Scenario is a maybe. For whatever reason, this scenario doesn't excite me that much. I did think about maybe going the dragon route, like in my head, when I'm like, ah, oh, I really want to play this. You know? The fact that they took him down from 20 to 19 kind of irks me a little bit. A nice even 20 was just like, you know, but I guess we couldn't have that. It's not really that bad either way. 19 still a huge point slam. Um, heat waves a maybe. We have a lot of tempo, so we can afford to go with heat wave. I kind of want to put heat wave in there too, because someone wrote a rant in my comments. Like I saw it about a week ago saying that. I'm complaining about heat wave targets and I shouldn't even be playing heat wave because it's like the craziest card in the game and how dare me kind of thing. So we'll put heat wave in here just for them. And uh, Targ is good, but there's so much purify that I don't think he's going to get a lot of value. I thought about maybe just putting Junid in the deck. I don't mind Erendite either. Yeah, you read my mind, Erendite. Uh, it's just like, it's like, it's hard for me to play a deck where I'm not putting in like Erendite, for example, you know? It's just, I like the card so much that it's, uh... Do we need Roach Knickers? Then we start putting a lot of provisions into, instead of Roach Knickers, we might actually be good with the Unicorn play. Because we can get Mask to pull into one. We can get Decree to pull into one. Alchemy discard. Discard's just fun in general. I like just hitting things, you know? I'm going to say tentatively, just so we can get some game started. We're going to put in the Unicorns, yeah? And then we'll go from there. Um, We'll put Decree in for now. And I think that that is... Well, hold up a second. I have fleet. We're thinning down to like... Two, three, four, five. I guess this comes back, which is okay. Six, seven, eight. Like, any more thinning, it's kind of overkill. But if I don't have decree, then these are not very good. But we want these for points. Because we put a lot of points into the combo. 
four cards. We need big cards. Or Well, are these really the big cards we're going to choose? I don't think so. We up against a lot of swarm lately, guys. Would something like Lambert actually be feasible? Like, uh, are a lot of kids playing Deadeye or nah? Morkvark's not bad. Jonid would be okay, to be honest. Jonid would be very flexible. I like the card. Jonah would be good. Curse would be okay. I don't think we use Curse if we're running double talls. But Jonah's like a utility removal. So I'm going to say maybe. We have uh, not really any pirates, man. We got like a lot of boats. So I'm thinking... I like the Raiders quite a bit. They play for 8 at 5 in round 3. It's not bad. But we can also go with a Corsair. One-off Corsair is not horrible. I think... Uh, 2 might be bad. If we're going into like a round 3 with just a Corsair in hand. I don't mind the idea of running 2 of these and a Seagull. Or 2 of the Well... Peller could be good as well. Six, two. It could be Junid goes for more flex in the bronze. Squirrel. The Peller squirrel special. I mean... And then we got one at eight. One at eight's... Uh, you know, I might actually dump Junid if we find, like, not a very good eight and go for, like, two sixes instead. Bjorn is probably a value pick here. Supremacy is actually not bad either. I just, I, it's hard to say. Is there a Twitch stream? Not today. This is a YouTube exclusive today. We're not going to do a multi-stream. Oh, shoot. We forgot Terror. Terror goes in. Jonid goes out. Right? What's the counter to the Syndicate? Um, maybe just predicting what is going to happen next. And removing the spender that's important. So that uh, they can't really do a whole lot. You know, I have room. Okay, 10 and 1. Yes, Diana? Geralt killing the highest for immunity? Geralt killing the highest for immunity. Are they switching up Geralt's on me now, too? Are you talking about um, Igni, specifically? I don't think we need Igni in a heavy control list, because there won't be tall stuff left. Especially because we have this. And then we have, like, the discard swing. I really want pirates in the deck, otherwise crack isn't very good. I, I could put a bunch of armor on the boats, yeah. I guess that's fine. But I want more pirates so that we can guarantee we're getting more value out of this whole thing, you know? Uh, there's consideration to play Maxi as well, but I, I don't think I'm going to be doing all that. Just because Maxi's really good for, let's say... What if I dump Decree and put Maxi? So then we're not putting provisions into a draw card. And we just draw based on... Uh, skill <laughs> you know what i mean is that a thing and then so maxi we know where the coral is going to be we get that you know we have more than enough to just shuffle things around and then i have 24 and 14 
Kraken's okay. Sove is not very good here. Is there anything else we can bump up in the bronze end? Certain types of decks with a lot of neutral cards. How many do we get? Well, Peller Squirrel is kind of just like their techs. This is a tech. And then beyond that, I mean, we have Tall Punish. Pirates should be Pirates Heavy. I, I agree with you. This is what we're trying to figure out. I really like... We'll narrow it down. I'm not a huge fan of Seagull. Like, it, it has its uh, merit in some cases, but... It's just that I wanted to play Discard, and so that kind of makes it weird. You know what I mean? If I put, like, these guys in, because I really like playing them. We have 26. And then... We Twenty-five, two. What are they locking for us? One, two. It's more about the defender, is it not? This looks like it flows very well. So far. Portal. We can't put portal when we have these techs. Every time it's going to thin them. I don't want more thinning. I actually just want more pirates. Um, two, three. We we'll call it pirates and ships because we're definitely playing a lot of ships, guys. Look. Two, four, six, seven. I guess Mork's a pirate too. So technically we're at two. This creates a pirate. It's just, what do we cut from this end so that we can fit 25 and 9? We're, like, under provisions. That's the problem. It's I think one of these texts has to go. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm thinking. I think Maxi has to stay. I'm more worried about getting around a defender than I am punishing their grave. Because I don't want to waste my leader and stuff to get around defender, and I don't want to put in a harpooner just to do it. So for me, that feels like Peller is probably better because we have access to Heatwave, and we can banish something that we find we don't want to see again. It just doesn't play for the Echo, you know what I mean? Uh, you're thinking one funeral boat goes... I guess they did nerf it. If I do Funeral Boat and that go, then we have two here, one at 12. And that feels pretty sweet to me. <laughs> Random Ockvist? Funeral Boat's good, along with Seagull. Funeral Boats and Seagull are actually very good. Maybe, maybe we dump a gutting. Mm. I'm going to take Max Hill for a second. If you had seagulls and two corsairs, I'd say two funeral boats. It's one in thirteen. I could take gutting out, and I could put Bjorn for the consistency. 
because we took out Maxi. Clearly, I'm blind. And then one at nine. We got this, this play. We can create a second funeral boat off of, uh, off of the Kyre. So I'm not too worried about that, right? It's one at nine that we play with. You're thinking scenario? It's like one of my least favorite scenarios. We replace every bronze. We have two of an edge shoe. Come on now. <laughs> Not saying it's uh, something that couldn't work, but yo, know, seeing uh, Quen get a buff is actually nice, provision wise. Not much at nine. We want to play. You guys think scenario is really the way? It's getting us closer to where we need to be. It would fit in. All right, fine. This is looking solid. I just need to find one provision now. I could drop one raider and I could put in a funeral boat, which is not bad. Raider for boat? What do you think? Or two gutting. Two gutting is actually kind of clutch. How dare you? They're my favorite. I can't drop them. What? Yeah, you get these padded up with armor. <sighs> okay, we'll put it fine. Yeah, we'll put uh, we'll put one funeral boat, and we'll put. I think we're gonna put one gutting slash. Uh. We play some cards now. All right, let's give it a go. I don't know what rank I'm in right now, by the way. I have no idea. Um, I think it's going to be like eight. Se oh, seven or eight. Yeah, we got eight. I got, I got 17 days to get back in shape here, right? I mean, we gotta, we gotta. I'm not really listening. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna wear headphones right now, but. Pirates. Oh? <laughs> what? So... Okay, you're getting the premium cards plus. Can you get just the card back by itself? Close to Renfri? Uh, no. Yeah, we, we don't have too many specials, but we have Scenario, so that kind of makes it better. Oh, you... No, you can't. I'm just catching up on what's new, man. 
We need a pirate card back. For whatever reason, I always think like of these as kind of like pirates. I'm gonna roll with it. We're doing a crossover here. $33 for a card back. I think it comes with a bunch of premiums as well. But the pink one, I, I missed it. We'll check it later. Yeah, I tried that once and it was very sloppy. Both boats and hands, very good. Peller is maybe good if they have a defender. This. I think I'm gonna have to actually just play a boat from hand, really. It's not terrible. It's not the, way of the, the most satisfying thing. Here, give me a second, I gotta fix this. And, uh. Also, let me marv this friggin'. <laughs> this food real quick. I'm gonna eat it like in a very unholy way, just so I can get it down. Give me like two minutes. We need them to actually play cards. Got a couple good discards. I don't really like the seagull here, like with armor on it, but it is what it is. I got uh, I got some rice and some eggs. You know, I didn't know what carb to have with breakfast. I was not feeling oatmeal, so I was like, yeah, rice. I could just discard a seagull. So no unit decks are still viable, however, you have to have a minimum of 13 units in your deck right now of the 25 cards. So there's no way to go completely unitless, that's why I call it low unit. And when people say no unit, it's kind of misleading. Yeah, they're not playing anything, I think they're just trying to not interact with this round to get some information on what we're doing. Watch, they pop a small blood down and they're winning the round. This is kind of annoying. I'm stuffing my face right now. Give me like two minutes.
It's uh, it's just like four eggs and a cup of rice. I'm like, I'm making really good progress right now. Nah, man. I didn't dip. I just, uh, I was explaining before I had to restart the stream that, uh, my new job has just been, like, really taking up a lot of time. It's, uh, six days a week on the other side of the city, and, um, I'm seeing traffic both ways. I get home, it's dinner, and then it's like, okay, bedtime soon. This is kind of annoying. Uh, all my cards depend on me having value from what I'm hitting. I think I'm gonna have to pass. This is so funny. He's gonna have to use his full leader. Man, I miss when Blue Boy was like so good. Remember that? I'm actually very happy with my new job so far. The only thing I'm not happy about is the fact that I have to work uh, Saturdays. Hopefully one day I don't, but for now I do. What rank is this? Okay, so I, I basically haven't been playing much over the last couple months, so I went from pro back down to rank 8. It's probably the lowest I've ever been since like 20... 19... around this time, or 2018. They used the leader because they had to. Blue Boy used to be so crazy. I used to watch, like, you know, when, like, in the Masters or the Qualies, when people would actually slam down the Blue Boy? Those were, like, the, the best. Good bleed. Let's get some carryover, boys. More turns for the sword. Down to the last two bites. I got some sriracha on this too. Round three, ten card against this. We go first. I get my boats. Let's just keep.
I could float it. It gets me points. Actually, I like this quite a bit because you're not just playing a... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like feeding into the sword perfectly. Where did my chat box go? There we go. Thanks for the free points. <laughs> I don't actually get to kill this unless I use Gutting Slash. I'm gonna wait though, I think. Purify. You float this. Very corpses? Need our foes to the crabs where they still live. Boat, boat, boat. I suppose you're right. Well, we can do that now. It doesn't matter. I can't. I'm not gonna play this boat yet. I, I'll just wait. There might be something better. But I'm thinking I want to get this down soon too. And regardless, we're getting a good boat. This deck so far, based on a sample size of like seven minutes, it's kinda kinda nice. Or just play it from hand. I I biff that. I'm so stupid. <laughs> I forgot you have to actually infuse it first. Listen, I haven't played uh, I haven't played uh, this scenario in a minute. It's been a good minute. I guess we just have to let it go here. Here's what I'm gonna do, okay? It doesn't really matter with the infusion. We'll hold it. I think we're gonna hit. New P strike? I was watching, are you talking about like the one that was in the uh, the Masters? Like, it looked like a lot of fun. I played Dwarves recently. I think Dwarves are actually in a really good place, like a solid place, like actually like top tier place. Never would have thought I'd see the day, but uh, it's a thing. Getting kind of tired uh, from seeing this. They don't have any... I guess we're killing some stuff, though. I have so many options of, like, how we're gonna take them down that it's overwhelming. Listen, I think I'm just gonna, like, have some fun with it for a bit. Here, let's, let's stop. I think I'm safe to just stop this guy from healing anymore. You know what? I think we just... Yeah, this is looking pretty good. Doors Constructs. I don't know how I feel about the Shield Construct. In that... Of course you have that card. Aaron died at 13 points. This is so over. Unless they play Exodia, like, we're, we're chilling. Um, I'm gonna have to get some rain going, man. Never find peace. <laughs> Listen, I haven't had any caffeine today. Let me crack a can, boys. I got the fridge in the bedroom. Let's go. That's so good. That hits different, you know? <clears throat> Witchers were like S tier at one point. 
as far as Northern Realm Switchers and uh, Colgrim Witchers and Skellige Witchers saw some play in tournaments. Okay, listen. Just stop. Just concede. This has been an interesting, uh, this has been an interesting game so far. I can't believe we're still in the first game. Still a banger? Man, I'm gonna have to pull up that list. First game back. I still got it, bro. Ew, don't hate the player, man. Hate the game. Don't hate the game either, but you know what I mean. I'm just doing what I gotta do. We gotta get to rank uh, 7 here, so. If he wants to play that, well, that's cool. So I'm actually doing very well on my journey to have all the cards in the game premium, by the way, guys. So I have, I think, every single bronze double premium. And uh, with exception to, like, maybe a couple that, for whatever reason, I feel like the cards keep getting milled and I keep making them. And then I have all the epics, I think, right now, premium, with exception to... Possibly a couple Thronebreaker ones. There's like, there's probably five or less. And then it's really about the legendaries from there, which I have a good chunk of the premium, like you could see, you know? Okay, dial in. Come on. Of course we get burner right after. Far away. This is uh like four thousand hours of playing the game, so I can't blame you, man. If you get the premium only I don't think there's any other place you can get it. That's terrifying. It's not very good. I can't do anything about that. Hey, Muhammad, how you doing? Sick. Sick. No glory for Skellige right now, boys. Um... The only thing I can think of is if I can, like, yeah, I don't know, get some carryover and... Get a seagull down, I controlled something. Now, I wish we had the squirrel. 
It's funny how it goes, huh? We gotta keep this alive. I'm actually not opposed to getting rid of this with the leader, but then that means we're pushing into the round, and I don't know if that's the plan either. And here's the thing, too. If I don't play a lot of cards, then if they're trying to do the double res and bring them both back, they're going to have a problem doing that. So it could just be gutting slash here and just basically just not playing units, you know what I mean? Some premiums with Thronebreaker exclusive. I wish they would just put a paywall behind it because I tried to load up Th Thronebreaker on like various occasions because I played Thronebreaker before I learned how to play Gwent well. It was kind of like my tutorial to Gwent, essentially. I was bad before. Anyways, going back to Thronebreaker now, nothing makes sense and I'm like, holy crap, overwhelmed. And I just want to go and find the specific things versus replaying the story because I played the story like one and a half times and I was very thorough, or at least I thought I was because I obviously missed a few chests, but you know what I mean? I just don't know if I want to do it all again. You could, we could 19 points. I'm going to actually go for it. Yo, how you doing? Yeah, it's like I have to unlearn this batch of cards and then relearn that batch of cards. And it's like, it's like one of these days I'm going to have to do it. I just don't want to do it right now. You know what I mean? That's like the perfect thing to play for me. Kikamore. This guy's getting nervous. Do we have reach? Let's put on armor instead of put on points on Fakusha. That's good. Actually, we have, we have a decent amount of reach because this dies. That's seven gone. And they use the leader. Okay, we just got a temple by beyond six. I'm thinking we just play a seagull for what it's worth. It's not going to be a full value seagull. But then that ticks and this goes and we're in the game. <laughs> Reload amount of ammo. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I, uh, you guys try the finals? I've been playing a bit of the finals. I, I gave it another shot and I've been enjoying it for what it's worth. Um, it's been pretty cool. It's, uh, it's a game to play if you don't have a lot of time. Like, if you just, ha if you're hopping on the computer for like an hour, maybe two, you know? You, you can get a lot done in that time in that game. It's pretty quick. We're kind of running out of steam here, boys. Um, they tick for three more turns. I'm honestly, I have this feeling when that I'm supposed to just do... I'm supposed to just do these things. Esco Pathfinder. I'm going to throw away Erendite. Well, 
And then we win it off a boat. That was a little bit of a long shot though, just trying to play for something I didn't know was actually there. I just figured we'd probably get something good. Because our hand was so chalked. I'm gonna see myself out of this round for sure. Hive mines at one. Remember when I was talking about putting Lambert in the deck? Now I kind of wish I did. The thing is... The audio, if I don't mind fixing it, what's the problem with it? Is it like, what's it doing? Is it the mic? Is it the game? Delay a mic? I could, uh, I'll try to unplug it and replug it. Let's see. It might actually be a problem with the camera. No. Yeah. I had muted the wrong thing, my bad. Uh, how's that sounding? Let me know if that's a bit better. Uh, okay. Um, Probably that. We're going into like a mid length round three. You hear first, then see. It's the camera then. After this game, I'll, I'll look into it. This camera has been doing that. Yeah, okay. Give me like, just let's finish the round. Aaron died at two, is not good enough to hold. Now, I, they're talking about, there's like a delay, and I know exactly what you mean, because it's, I, I've been trying to figure this one out for a long time, and I think I know why it happens. So I bought this new Logitech stream cam at some point within the like last year to replace the Aver Media one that I had. And uh, basically, I'm going to play around a Pred Dive. Yeah, it's camera delay. So for they, they said like, um, I got to plug in my camera into the USB-C on my PC in order to get the max like frame rate or whatever the case and um, and the thing is the USB-C on my tower I don't think we ever connected it and so I have to actually like set it up in my tower in order to get it to work and I tried to get a USB uh, I guess 3.0 to C adapter on Amazon and I wasn't it didn't solve the problem because like it's still saying it, it's not getting the full frames, and I think that's why it's doing it. Should I just heat wave this? Now nah, we kill it. Let's just kill it. So, yeah. I'm gonna get to the bottom of that, but like it literally involves me having to take apart my PC and like put 
because uh, there's only one USB-C and it's at the front and uh, I just didn't think I needed it when I built the PC so I didn't like put I don't know power to it or something you know what I mean yeah yeah that's exactly what you want to kill <laughs> all right this one's uh, in the bag I'm thinking we just take this out with, like, an actual hit. Oh, now we gotta focus on this guy. Okay. Here, look. Let's just crush them, like, in spirit. And then we'll go and play the boat. Is there a link to the deck? I'll post it in the chat after this. We're going to take like a little intermission and I'm going to be trying to fix the stream issue real quick because like I still want to fix it. If I can, if I can't fix it now, you guys are going to have to deal with it. I'm at my bet, you know, but we'll, we'll give it like a little bit of a try and then I'll put the link in the chat. This deck has been pretty good so far. You know what? I think I'm just going to take my heat wave. That's enough. Kind of want the Erendite back. Who would have thought? Uh, we kind of need this, though. We have to play a pirate. Wow. Whatever. I think we're just good. Gusty's not saying a whole lot. The fact that I couldn't proc this thing. <sighs> Whenever you play a pirate. Yeah. We missed him. We missed him. We missed, like, every pirate, essentially. I'm not mad. Okay, let's do two things here, okay? Whoops. I don't like how they put the balance council thing on the right of the deck guide. I don't... Or the deck page... I'm so used to just swinging right and clicking. You know what I mean? Hosky, I'm glad to see you as well. I, I just wish that this was in here somewhere. It could be near play even for all I care. Like it doesn't... Or here. It just... Like I go vroom and then I click this every single time. I open... I, I try to open the deck builder. It irks me, man. Listen, the rule, the rule is I share the sauce, but no friggin' queuing up. I, I mean, most of you guys are probably not my rank, but uh, I don't want to play against any of you guys using this deck. I can't stand that. It would be, it would just be awful. Um, okay, I'm just going to rename it to something serious. It's a good deck. I don't know if it's the best deck ever. Billy, I've seen your comments, man. I appreciate you still supporting the channel and coming out, uh, you know, as often as you still do. So, respect and glad to catch you on a live, too. Um, here, let's just do a couple things real, real quick. I'm premium hunting, so... 
Hopefully I have some good luck with it. It's a 100% win rate at rank 8 based on a two-game sample size. Not bad, not bad. Hopefully we can continue with it, though. Let's go! It just sucks that I have it. We'll mill it down. They were easy to Yeah, I know. Let's be honest. It wasn't, uh... Back to back legendary premiums. Thank you, Burza. You guys are like, how come when I open kegs, they they aren't like this? Why? How come when you open? <laughs> Let's go. Yo, who's jealous? Yo, someone's gonna report me, dude. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> what? Ah, oh, man, that's in seven kegs. Seven kegs. I got three legendaries and like three epics. Or eight kegs. Look at this. No freaking way. Oh, already reported? Yo, I feel like this should just... Be, I'm going to clip this, okay? The world needs to know this luck is not even... Uh, ah, I'm not a lucky guy, bro. But today, like, we're pulling. And I got the Hellveed, too. I got the Hellveed and the Radovid, ones I did not have. Oh, they took me down. Thanks, guys. You got me banned. One bang, splash, bang, oh. Let's try this again. Soup, soup, eat. <laughs> yum, yum. I hate when he does this. You ever, you ever see Shoop just like stuck on the keg and he's like doing this with it? I opened the same pack three times. Bro, if they're not legendaries, they're epics. This is ridiculous. I don't think we're going to pull another legendary. I think it's almost impossible at this point. Yo, I actually think... I actually think that this was the best... The best pull rate... Ever recorded on a live stream for Gwent.
So I got two new one. I got four. I got four legendaries because we're milling two. Four legendaries and nine epics on 18 packs. Right? Nine epics. I don't I, th I don't think we got any that we already had. Like I think we already had them all. So nine and four. Let me show you something. So this is what I'm talking about. For all you guys that are new around here, I've been around the block, okay? I got every card, premium and non-premium, two copies if it's bronze, because I'm a nerd. And then we move on up to the gold. And we're close. Holy crap. If we get there. Okay. That's 800? Is she 200? 800? Alright. What about Milva? 8. I have enough for 1. All that luck, all that luck, and we only have enough for one. Here, uh, what about crafting costs? Legendary, epic. Okay, so this is a Thronebreaker exclusive. Yeah, I think we're going to just do the, the legendary here. What do we need? I can do the last scenario that I... I think I have every other scenario except... For this one. I can do this location. I can do Kraken. So I just need these premiums. Um, but like five to seven of them are Thronebreaker exclusives. And all the other ones are like 800 scraps. So. Alright, we gotta choose one. It's kind of badass though. I can do Brute. I can do Heimdall. Burko. I don't have Furco in premium. I don't have Junior in premium. Are you sure? Okay. All right. All right. You got me. There you go. And now we're broke. Yeah, see, look. These are the ones I don't have. These three. From Thronebreaker that are epic. Oh, you were on a different... Well, we already spent the scraps. Okay, no, no, no. Two different people, okay. Yeah, Furco, that's the one for today. Um, okay, give me a second. I'm going to try to sort out the camera thing real quick and use the restroom. It'll be like two minutes, okay? Be right back.
I think we're almost there. Give me a second. One more second. What about now? Is that better? I need that feedback, man. I think I fixed the problem. Same shit. Okay. Don't worry, I'm still here. Just restarting the... <sighs> what I don't like about this camera too is that you need to actually run a separate app. It doesn't just like open the camera when you're on... Uh, when you're on Streamlabs, like most of my cameras do. That's why it's showing that it's not there. So it could also just be a desync there. But it's loading right now. There. Is that better? No way, it's worse. We have line pockets coming up here. Pretty good hand to start, honestly. Maybe this goes. I really ought to have clear some of this platter. Bincy at nine. I think, yeah, that's that's looking a little bit better. I think I, for now, it's working. Is it better now? It must be better now. It's like, it's tolerable now. Oh, yeah. Sheesh. <laughs> this Bincy's getting out of control, man. Pin perfect. Not even just perfect, man. Pin perfect. It's as good as the pulls that we just had when we opened kegs. <sighs> Darko. What rank am I? Don't don't ask questions. <laughs> don't worry about it, man. Why are you watching that? <laughs> uh listen, is it important? It's not about the rank, it's how you play the cards. We're rank eight. We're climbing. We're climbing. 22 to 8. They're winning off a of one card. I don't have Heat Wave. You might as well stir it up a little bit here, though. I am fire. Wouldn't hurt. I don't want to use Troll yet. Put that on a boat next. Bow. We're still within reach. They might actually concede soon for the round because they, yeah, they think that, uh...
I kind of messed myself here. It only goes two. I guess Seagull comes back. Clean. Super clean. TikTok invasion IMO. I how many viewers did I have before? <laughs> I actually turned it off because I was I, if I'm being honest, I didn't expect anybody to come out and I didn't want it to be psychological. Um so I, I just I clicked that off. Yo, damn. These things happen sometimes, you know? Like, I don't know how some streamers hold the pee in so long, but uh, I've been trying to drink my uh, three liters a day, and caffeine doesn't help. So when I gotta go, I gotta go, man. If I lose a few viewers in the meantime, it is what it is. Uh, jeez. We have a little bit of, like, room to play with this combo. Um, so I had, I had some ideas and, and what, um, what, what I was going to do, um, before was possibly either go, um, to work with my buddy, uh, who works for the air force and, um, he works on essentially like fighter planes or big, big, big jets and, uh, I was going to look at that opportunity. Um, and then I thought about maybe doing something um, like IT related with the military instead. But uh, I didn't end up sticking with it. Um, just because I felt like it was a lot to give up um, with where I'm at right now. Um, just like lifestyle wise. And one of the jobs that I was interested in wasn't available anymore. Um, or at least the post wasn't there anymore. So, there was that. So what I ended up doing is uh, I took on a job where I, like, manage a, a stone and tile center. And so, yeah, I, I do that, and uh, it's been going well. And it's, uh, it's not, like, super office-y either. Like, I get to do stuff with like you know forklifts and kind of mess around so i've been enjoying the pace it's been fun uh, i'm gonna put that back i'm gonna keep i'm gonna keep i'm gonna put that back too i like it and it's it's paying enough that I, it's actually like fairly comfortable but it's just uh the amount of hours i have to work is kind of the annoying part to me at the end of turn, gain a coin or to create. Honestly, I think I'm just going to let them do what they got to do. That's a lot of coins in a long round, plus the create and play. But other than that, I'm good. Christmas went well. New Year's, uh... Honestly, New Year's was just, like, low-key. Yeah, that's exactly it. I feel like I'm able to put it aside and just kind of live my life outside of work. It's just the amount of time I have outside of work right now is not as much as I signed up for. So hopefully we can sort of, I think it, a lot of it for me is like just an adjustment period because when I was back in school, I was also doing uh, anywhere between 40 to 55 hours a week at least working. I was managing a retail store and I was supervising a Starbucks. So I had those two jobs that I was doing plus school. So I think that if I can just get this job in a place where I'm like really comfortable with it and I, I feel like I'm doing well, then uh, it shouldn't be as much of a problem for me to come home and bang on a video. You know what I mean? 
but he had a checkered past. Um, I sell mainly slabs. I, I deal with like slabs of granite and stuff like that. And uh, hey, we got to get some things going here. One sec. Women, children, elders. I think we removed that. This is going to be a tough matchup, but I don't know. Uh, there's like so many different types of people at the office. Like there's 50 plus employees, you know what I mean? Uh, that work for the design center. So you might have a couple in there with a checkered past, but you might have some that are not so much, you know, it is what it is. I think it's like that wherever you go. Either way, though, everybody at work was pretty sweet. Oh my god, drill. How are we going to get back there? Okay, we're going to take this one out. Gotta kill it. Can I post it up yet? I should have a link saved. If um if I can't take out this we lose, unfortunately. I gotta dive for the heat wave ASAP. Oh, we used the heat wave. Damn. Uh, Arendite 2 is not going to happen. I forgot we had to heat wave the, uh, the, the location. This looks like a go next. Yeah, no, it's this one's done. Jeez. That's a deck. Line pockets. The draws in round one were so-so. The fact that we're taking discards going into round three was tough. Arondite had no value because the Vinci play early on. Just from the start, it was going badly. At least I have something to work with here. I think one's fine. This is good. This hand's actually very good. Put down Funeral Boat to start. Actually, it could be very well Long Ship, then Funeral Boat, and then whatever else. Yo, Lewis, what's up, man? Lewis is like one of my buddies that I met probably like within my first one or two weeks of ever streaming on Twitch when I had like, you know, three to five people watching. And uh, the rest is history. And since then, uh, he started... Uh, I would say a pretty competitive Marvel Snap team, Pursuit Gaming. And he holds tournaments and stuff like that. And he started the team with 
former bandit gang um synergy god so if you guys know synergy it's like a lot of the same crowd that was in gwent is actually sort of keeping up with ccgs with snap so if any of you guys like to talk shop about that type of stuff um you can always join the pg discord if you have a link lewis you could send it me on discord uh, or even better yet i'll just make one So that's the uh, that's the the server for pursuit. I'm in there as well. Um, force of nature thrive against a bunch of random damage pings. It's gonna be tough to actually get things out of the way. Have I tried jack puff with with all the prov buffs? Uh, which one specifically are you referring to? Because I'm coming back after about like three weeks of not playing. That's a healthy hand for round one. I wonder why the other guy just gave up on the last one. Just stop it in to say hi. Pretty busy today. Patty, what's up, man? Uh, yeah. We're here. Um, what do you got going on today? Are you going to be around after? Or... Funeral boat. We're just going to seagull spam this. Go crazy. Oh, GG. It almost feels like a little bit of a waste to use a seagull for these two, but I have to. It's just I'm not getting the damage off them, but I'm getting the value. Whoa! I'll just take a boat with damage myself. Unbelievable! This can't be stopped. I'm going to take it out. I'm just waiting for them to play something else. We could seagull here. Decent. Fair enough. This is okay. We take this all day. They go up to two. It's the armor that I'm worried about. Nice. Getting some stuff on the honey to-do list. Don't know what time. Let, let me know. Because, uh... I should have some time around like seven or eight my time to hang out and catch up because uh, I'm going to stream and then I got to do a little bit of food prepping for tomorrow for, you know, the week and then, uh, and the end. And then I'll be back. Give me something to discard. It's at five right now. Probably just chuck the gutting. I don't think we ah I could I could hit it at six. No shot. <laughs> die die. <laughs> This is what's supposed to happen when you play this deck. Holy. And they play. Yeah, I'll be on at like 7 at night. Yo, do you have, uh, do you have Fortnite installed by any chance, Patty? You know, I don't really play Fortnite, but I was talking with Sam last night. 
and uh, we couldn't agree on a game to play on, to play. So I I picked a game that we both don't play, and because so I wanted to play a BR and he didn't want to play Cotter Apex. That was basically the case, and um, yeah, he installed it on his internet. That's slow as ever, and um, yeah, we're probably gonna give it a shot later. More Quarg. Eh. Six. Wait a second. Wait a minute. They just passed. Oh god, this is a 2 0. Actually, I can't really play endless. I'll just play for the Erendite. Maybe just take. Holy crap. I was gonna kill it, but then I figured we could just kill it with a leader if we really need to. We also have Fukusha. Kashi. It's GG. I don't know, chat. <laughs> Played it a little. Yeah, I downloaded it and I was so surprised like what they have going on. The game has so much crap going on. It's actually overwhelming. It's like its whole own metaverse. Um, I didn't even know what to say or do. But uh, what I did see was um, they have a slim shady skin in Fortnite right now. Literally. And uh, and uh, there's another one where it's like Eminem, like new Eminem with the beard. And he has a backpack on, and the backpack uh, is like a mom's spaghetti backpack. And then they also had the weekend. Literally, it's so weird seeing this. I could have probably pushed more with the heat wave, but I didn't want to just dump scenario and be like, ta-da, you know? I got two discards in the deck, which we want. So I think this can go. I should have. Yo, like I, I was just like, how? I don't like building in, in, in a battle royale. I, I played zero build a couple games when I first installed it. Uh, I was able to get a quick dub. It, the, the aiming feels so weird to me compared to what I'm used to playing. Um, let's go with this and hopefully we get something good. I'm starting to think we fumbled the bag a little bit here, guys. Um... I think we just have to take. Yo! Northern Realms deck. What kind of Northern Realms deck would you like to see? Chapter 1, it's not really that big of a deal. They proc it. I think we just go for the biggest heat wave. This game could have been a lot less close, I think, if we would have just... We would have just bled into round two a bit more. What I don't like about this deck so far... That's what I'm actually getting at, Grudy. 
Um, it's kind of weird like that. I want to have a look at the builder to see if maybe there's something we can do. I did it again. One, two... Okay, I think I think whoever said what they said was I don't know. I can't I don't think I'm going to sacrifice the long ship. I think I got to do something else. Two pirates, three pirates, four pirates. I haven't seen crack this entire like the entire thing. But it's there. So I have Fakusha could play a pirate. That's two. And we're not playing Mork from hand. Three, four, five, six. A lot of it could just come down to me needing to pay more attention to where we're at. You know what I mean? Uh, Raiding Fleet maybe can go. There's not... No. Yeah, I'm just trying to figure out a way to put another pirate in that matters. I want, like, a double up on this. But I also don't want to compromise. That feels so weird to me. It might be the move. Uh, new NR using Invader instead of some 4P. Invaders are not bad. If Peller goes, that's bad. If Gutting Slash goes... That's the only thing I see going is the Gutting. And then, even then, it's kind of sus. You kick a... Okay, you know what? That's not horrible. Because a funeral boat, we can make one off off of um, Trolled, no? No, we could bring it back though with Fakusha. Deck scenes out like this, okay. Yo, Nikita, how you doing? Two boats seem better if you have that. Yeah. I'll give you guys an updated version here. I've been enjoying playing today, though. It's been a lot of fun so far. You guys are going to kill me, but... Uh, give me, like, one more second. I literally need to pee again. Okay. One sec. So we'll do main...
Let's run it. Let's steamroll some games here. You yes, yes and no. Right, like we have a lot of boats, so raiding fleet's pretty good overall. I want to make sure I get my discard cards, and that's the problem. If we miss the discards, because we've been doing that a couple games, right? We just haven't had them, and that's been annoying. So it's basically me saying, we take Raiding Fleet, we don't have to take Decree. You know? So far, the sample size is three games. Four games, if you want to count like an auto forfeit we got from someone, but... So two, this is a good opener. This can probably go back for later, that's perfect. Uh, Corsair gives us reach in the round. Maybe nudge down some armor. I don't know, I guess we could just keep this to absorb some of the Berserker stuff later. I think we just keep the hand and play into it. Good to be here as well, uh, Arsenal. Bleeding is valuable. Yeah, it can, it can actually be pretty good. Um... Do we ever just create and play? We don't really have warriors like that. I think we just hold this guy. Maybe I actually just take the discard here and look for Coral. Dwarves have a lot of tempo, so I want to make sure we actually get started early so we get like pretty good value on this whole thing. What have you guys been playing lately, though? Like when you're when you're playing Gwent, what decks are sort of your go-to's? Okay, let's get cozy. There you go. Death sails in circles. I don't know if we want to do the Corsair play just yet. We could actually just play Crack here. I want them to stack melee so we get more value out of the Cataclysm. No chances. Mid range Yizgith? Uh oh. What are they putting in that? I think we go for a temple discard here. Self wound. Self wound's a lot of fun. I've been meaning to get back into self wound and play once upon a time, like in patch 10.5 or something like that. I did self wound with Iterin and Megascopes with the veterans, and it was so much fun. Twenty points, two cards. They could do it if they play big. But I think we just we take the thins, we let them figure it out. If do I really need Erendite? It's already at five. An Erendite killing something and going back onto a seagull is huge. Right? Because then you just like put the points on something low that's not really vulnerable. It goes up to like 7 or 8 instead of like 20. It's also kind of one of those things where we have the one gutting slash. Little reverse win on even. Let's go. Dwarves in a short round 3. Could be good still. 
think I'm gonna put one boat back. Yeah, I'm still playing, Gwent. You change three cards in this deck, the one specifically that I'm playing, or uh, a different one? Which cards did you change? Take that out with two. How am I going to get it out? I guess I could just Coral Dump. Coral Dump off a of Raider is not terrible. Or Seagull. Because Seagull's going to hit armor anyways. I can do a great deal more for you. And we still get it back. Yeah, Ethereal back in the day, that was nasty, that combo. Um, they have to pad this in order to get value out of it. If I kill it at 6, it's not bad. If I just take Erendite here, though, it's no problems. Demands a squirrel answer. We still get carry over to round 3. My game froze. Okay. I actually thought we were done. Here's what we're going to do, okay? Swap Karathi. Should I take the chance? I think I'm going to take it. <sighs> now they're going to take tempering. That's not a bad idea. We gotta put a stop on this right now. I'm trying to maximize the amount of rain value we get, and obviously the most of these two boats, right? If I can get BT3, we get Zeal on this. Maybe we just heat wave the Zolt, and after all, I should have just used the leader on it. I guess it does take out their leader. Yeah, it's actually more value for the heat wave. Let's do it now so we're not eating up all the armor. Yeah, early Dennis is kind of nice too. We just get that out of the way completely. Uh, Zoldan. 26. Less the 1, less the 1. Honestly, I think we go in all the way. Women, 
Children, elders, we spare none. They take one bleeding and take two damage from the boats if they play whatever they play. Five and one. Five and one, not bad. This might be the Yizgith deck you guys were talking about. Yeah. Listen, I'll take one resilience play with dwarfs. I'll I'll play Zoltan because you want to get as many Zoltans as you can, right, for that play. So I'll take the main Zoltan, but too much is too much. I used to go crazy with it, like Gavor, this, that, but like it's a new game now. Put this back later for scenario in case we're desperate. I don't really like Erendite here, but if they're playing Thrive, they're starting off fairly slow. And of course, they come down with a defender first after I put away Pella. That's annoying. Um, if I put down Crack, it actually gets me in quick. I like that they actually nerf this defender by one because of all the nonsense that happens with monsters. I'm going to have to try and, like, hard target whatever they put behind this with crack plays. Cave troll and then Okay. Yes, nothing quite like a nice messy dissection. I should have just played that on the range row. Oh my gosh. Ignore that. Ignore that. kind of cringe <laughs> that was such an f oh my gosh Second in control instead of, uh, yeah, instead of Zoltan. Makes sense. So they're going to try to triple Gurney. Can't get back here yet. Yeah. Late game we'll have Peller, which is fine. But I want to save Heatwave till we're able to actually get back there and Heatwave what's important. Because if they get three of these popping in a long round, we're just done. Adarin out of the way is nice.
Yeah, I can't get... I'm extending too far if I try to go for the defender now. Because if they just bring it back later, then I've used Trolled and I've used Leader to do it. bad for even using the first leader. Didn't really play a whole lot here besides um, Terror. What's that? Four? Yeah, it has to be a pass there. There we go. Fun. At least we get, like, kind of a free shot at these. Spooky. And I'm worried that they're going to be able to put this back in the deck. And do it again. <laughs> I guess we don't really... Well, that's fine. Three accounts on pro and I don't have cards. So what do you play then? Heat wave one of them. They're surprisingly clean pictures. It happens. If I can survive this round, we'll be alright. I think.
I don't think they're going to get card back, and I don't think they're going to win unless they really just get it together in round three. Coral plus one leader going into round three. I'm going to post this pirate deck. Maybe I'll make a guide once I have it where I like it. I think it's actually going pretty well so far. We have Aaron Dead at 12. We have Coral. We have... I think that this goes for now. I don't have my pirates for the damn voyage. This is crazy. Do you think it has to do with just maybe the round length in round three? is what I'm working with right now. There's no commands for, for deck here. But you know what, though? I'm going to try to figure out why. Hey, thank you. I'm going to see... I'm going to go in the Nightbot and see what's going on with the, with the commands, because... My commands aren't working. Put that back for later. Reverse, maybe. We gotta be careful about that. Um, discard, we have one. This could be helpful. This is okay. We could do a voyage round, potentially. So far, so good. Bring it. So this deck's still alive? Yeah. The same version we just had. Pretty much, like, there hasn't really been a difference. Whenever we play a pirate, I can't kill it. Which, uh, which decks you're running into right now? This game's still alive. Yeah, yeah, still going. Yo. Okay, uh, I'm just going to do something in the background. So if I look like I'm into something else, I'm just on Nightbot right now. It's my mod moderator thing. Um, For whatever reason, I, I'm not seeing the commands that I should be seeing.
It sucks that we have to use both leaders. So what happens when I write it? is getting out of hand um Time to whimper. The game is dead because we don't have all the cards. I'm gonna work on the I'll work on the whole night bot thing in a little bit. I need to get it done, but uh, for now, let's just I try to win this round. I'm at a pretty big disadvantage though right now as it stands because we played scenario and we're not really ahead. Uh, it's hard to say. Like some games are just like some games have been around forever, right? Like people still play. Well, I guess I shouldn't say like Team Fortress and stuff like that because like those are different types of games but like if you look at steam there's like a lot of games that just live for years and years and people still like it if people like things they're gonna do what they like you know that's just what it comes down to i can't win People still play poker, people still play blackjack. People still play Yu-Gi-Oh! Actually, do they? <laughs> do they? Uh, let's see. I, I used to play quite a bit of Yu-Gi-Oh, so I'm allowed to say that, but uh, it's so confusing. If you try to play it now, good luck. Yu-Gi-Oh is... Yo, I wasn't bashing it. Like, I, I like Master Duel, but I think that Duel Links was like the pinnacle of uh, online competitive Yu-Gi-Oh. That was like, Duel Links was my go-to. Duel Links was my first CCG. 
Yeah, if poker doesn't have any balance changes, why does Gwent need balance changes? We have a whole council dedicated to changes, man. If you're lucky, the card you don't like is going to get uh, minus one provision. Huh? Yu-Gi-Oh! Channel when? I fell off so hard that I probably don't even know how to play. Should I re-download it? I only played Master Duel for like maybe one or two hours. Like all my progress was in Duel Links on my old Samsung S7. Shredded. I hope it does. It would be a shame if it didn't. So this guy's just got like a random commandos round. I'm just like watching myself lose here. Uh, okay. Just in case. I can come up with quite a lot of points with the terror. This is terrible, and then I have... They just need to go tall on something. I guess we have two eights, so less 16. Less 17, because the, the plus one on that. That changes things quite a bit. Frozen. What I see on my screen versus what I see on Streamlabs is two different things. On my screen, it says your turn. Like it literally says your turn. Okay, now we're in, now we're in. I just damaged myself by one though, which is kind of BS. Nine, but eight if we didn't mess it up. We just go next. Okay, I'm just gonna look into this one more second. Good. Good. That's fine.
Okay. I don't want to waste value on the coral play, so I'm going to go in and maybe take Trolled here and just kind of... Yeah. We'll stack the rest on the range, get the birds on the front. We should be all right. Still, it's not really a lot. We just have one thing down there. I could just take one discard. I can do a great deal more for you. There we go. Guys, I have to have uh I have to have my chat commands going on. And my uh, my reminder is going on, so if uh, if you start seeing a bunch of timers and stuff pop up, it, you know, I gotta do what I gotta do. Yeah, double discard. Let's go. Temple pass round one. One more. Ah, uh, it's gonna have to be gutting. Board wipe, GG. No! Fair enough, I guess. Like, who would stay in that round? I wouldn't. Decent. How many boats in deck? One. Seagull. This game isn't beginner friendly, but... But I do have like a 20-hour series where I start a fresh account and take it to pro rank without spending a dollar. However, that's going into it with like a lot of hours of experience, so... There's that, you know. It's a little bit different. Uh, nine cards we push in a little bit here, don't we? We can, because I have removal. And we have sword. To make your own decks. You know what you gotta do? You gotta write that, like, you could actually do this as an exercise, and, like, I do this to an extent myself. A lot of it's done in my head, but sometimes I pull up, like, a, a notepad on my desktop. And I'm like, okay, so what are we playing? Like, what archetype is it? What are we trying to do? What are the win conditions? And, you know, how are we gonna get the cards that we need? Ask yourself those four questions. What type of deck I want to play? Okay. And then I always try to build in a couple win conditions. In this case, we have scenario, but we also have our discard. So if you can accomplish those four things your deck should be good right do you have the win conditions do you have you know uh consistency tools to draw the cards this is looking kind of sus
This is looking kind of sus. <laughs> Yo, actually, you know what? No. I'm I'm taking you out. What do I do with the scrap? After a while, nothing. You just kind of let it sit there when it when you have all the cards. So I'm like, I'm like dialing in on two things. See, so bear with me here. Um. Um. Radovid comes down, we kill it. it <laughs> this is ridiculous. I'm playing against Siege right now. They're going to have to do something. Do they pass? They're gonna get it in two. It's just, uh... Boats are putting in work. They got to use another leader. like I could have played in there a little bit more, but the Seagull was going to play for negative points. He really wants to win the round. He has to win the round. That was the round two. I think they're going to forfeit when we play Scenario. There are things in the universe of which even the sages have not dreamt. <laughs> you think they're going to... Okay, they're probably going to stick around to see if we can actually proc it. They're going to be like, okay, bluff or nah? Thank you. See you soon. Never mind. I'm just cocky. Holy crap. Do we lose?
found the friggin' on Seis that I forgot about. Yo, <laughs> why? Why can't I have nice things, man? That hurts pretty bad. I'm gonna play like uh, we're gonna play like one or two more, couple uh, depending on how fast the games go, and then we're gonna get into playing a little bit of uh, raid Shadow Legends for today's sponsor. Shout out to Raid. And uh, when we're done with that, we're going to hop back into some more Gwent. Okay? So if you guys want to support the stream, stick around and check it out. And uh, I'm going to be making a clan and doing some quests and stuff like that. It's a uh, second time partnering up with uh, with Raid. So we're going to pick up the save, basically, where we, we left it off and uh, see where we can go with that. We just got... Raider last was part of the fumble. I was relying on Bloodthirst 3, to be honest with you. I was actually thinking I would have it. So, whoops. So if you guys want to follow along in that portion of the stream, when we go over to Raid Shadow Legends, there's a download link or the QR, you know, the rest. And you can get some free stuff if you want to mess around and just kind of give you some advice. Maybe you guys have played it before and, you know, you can teach me a thing or two, so... Um, defender, we're probably going to have to purify them. We're going to go in with a heat wave or something like that. This can go back for now. Seagulls are good. I don't have discards. We could probably put one of these back to be safe. Oh! A HUD classic. I think we're just going to play against V. What's the most oppressive deck of all time? What do you guys think? Uh, Renfrey Soldiers. V. Double Masquerade Ball. Or like 32 card Colgrim. You got to pick one. It's not a bad sequel setup. It's not terrible. Double ball was terrible, man. Double ball was pretty bad. Ethereal is up there, too. Because you couldn't stop it. Did this guy really go and kill a sequel to kill... It was before I got to play... I should have played the boat first, for what it's worth. We could save it for the other seagull. You stand before the Queen of Skellige. I'm gonna say Peller goes. It's Peller or Raider, but I think Peller, because I have armor on this and I value it more. I just want to keep pace with them and maybe just do the boat combo later. This was scenario would be really good. This doesn't tempo, but it's a start. You quit the game when Renfrey came out. I slowed down a little for a while. Until I got over the fact that it was so annoying and then tried it out. And then I fell in love. <laughs> I'm kidding. I hate running for decks. But, uh... Yeah, man. Uh, it was a card that should have never been made, but right now it's not terrible. I don't want to heat wave that. that. That's 11 or 12. At 12, it's not a bad heat wave because it's an engine. Honestly, I think I'm willing to do that. I just don't know if I want to play anything else, though. I'll play Boat in the Pass. I just need to get some value out of these guys. I also got to dial in chat, so I'm going to just kind of focus up for a second here. 
Oh, actually, when Sov first came out, Sov was pretty bad. It was pretty, pretty bad, pretty bad. I like how we just have all these four-point plays. All right, I'm going to have to do something here, unfortunately. Got to turn on Erendite, and we got to get ahead, obviously, because we're at four cards now. Perfect time for them to pass. So... I'm so glad that I revealed the card and put it on the map like that. That deck was like the most played deck for like two months. Some people might have done it a little bit better though, but we got the idea out there. Okay, good hand. Um, good hand to play with. This is kind of sad, though. One pirate. We might draw another pirate. We could take a pirate back. Oh, uncap great swords. Oh my gosh. Little defender down. Dagger down. Couple great swords down. Reckless or patricidal, take your pick. This card will come back. I feed right, it comes back at the end. This guy is rocking. It's some interesting control tech ideas. Shackles, Crow's Eye. Here, I'm just gonna go with this right now. That might even be amusing. I think we float till they get a second card down and we get this down. I just want a tempo ahead. I need more than five points. <laughs> Drog actually was terrible. Um, 2019s, 2018s. It was like... It was it was in that range of time. It was crazy, crazy. Here. I don't think we try to necessarily 2-0, but I want to see if I can get like a dead laugh or something out of the way. Kelly, you know, don't be hating on Kelly now. Kelly's the goat. We just got free procs. How sweet. Hmm. I guess you could argue we infuse the debt laugh in case they consume it again and make a copy, but it is what it is. Yep, that's an L. I think we just take terror into round three and take one leader charge into round three.
reach, I guess you're saying from rank three. So you basically didn't lose. This guy didn't have to play. The rain, the rain procs, uh, after. The deck is like all good cards. We'll get this at least off of the... Yeah, it's not bad. What? That's on some sneaky... This should be a win unless I'm missing something. He wants that carry over into next game. Oh yeah, I'm missing that. Damn, I said this last game. Removing this. Let's go. I think we're on like two or three losses, aren't we? Seven and three. 70%. I, honestly, I feel like uh, one of these could have been prevented if I was dialing in, but, uh, but it's hard to say. Okay. We'll do, we'll do, uh, we'll do one more and then we'll, we'll go into the, uh, the next part of the stream. And then, uh, when we're done, we'll come back into Smorg win. I intended on playing at least 15 games today. At least. Got the heart of an Maybe around 20. We'll see how we feel. Kind of a weird hand. Oh yeah, it is late in the Philippines, eh? Yeah, have a good sleep and uh, we'll catch you soon, hopefully. What are we gonna do? I guess we just go this way. I think they're going to play like Svalblads off of that and kind of do the whole chain assembly. Yeah. They could just take... I think I'm supposed to Peller regardless. We have to impose some sort of threat. It's just that that's my one shot, you know? But then we save them using a resurrection on something like this. Okay, I got to take the discard stuff. We got to pull in the heat wave, don't we?
Maybe before we do that, though... I gotta thin out more so we're getting better cards. I appreciate it, Maddie. Thanks for... I think you're one of the first in, no? Anyways, thanks for sticking around for, for a while now. Yeah. Then you return to heal. At least we're getting mad value from this carry over here. Okay, let's go for let's go for a little discard. It's gonna have to be a seagull. If I go Burna, I have to hope that I pull in the trash. We have a lot of bronzes in the deck still. The full set, I don't mind throwing this. I don't mind throwing this, even these two. But we can't be pulling into good stuff. Because, like, these are playing, like, golds right now. And these are cards that, well, this is a little bit late to play. And then this is... I don't know. Maybe we just get down the second boat. First. Yeah, maybe we do. Here. What's the actual power? They might be going for a restore play. Okay. Let's stack melee. We shall do it my way. So annoying. Uh, shoot. I don't know if we can bleed that. Try commands now so I could see if I could update them. That's so strange. It looks like my commands are work or my my timers are working, but my commands are not working. Got some homework to do. What do I think of small blood? I think it's crazy. Oh, there it is. It's a little late. Okay, that's not the deck we're playing right now, but at least I know I can update it and it'll actually work. Here, I'm going to actually come in with scenario. We got to see some of this stuff. Long round three is going to be terrible. I like how I miss every discard target. And both tall punishes against literally a deck that has tempo and it needs tall punish. That's a nice little buff they did to that. I want to. For the Erendite, I think I'm just going to hold. This game is pretty... I think it's pretty lost. That's the only reason why I'm pushing it right now is because we have to actually like even the score somehow.
it's damaged by the same amount. We play this pirate and we try to get out, maybe. I gotta maintain last say with heat wave in hand so we can deal with the Melusine. Holy. I gotta change the, uh, I'm gonna have to change the, the time on that to 15. There we go. Swallow blood coming in here. I'm taking too many chances though, for real. Suggestion basic to pro rank series as far as the best of the team. Yo, appreciate that. No, uh, not many people talk about those. Like, uh, like I find we, we don't talk much about the beginner to pro, but it was, like, so much fun doing. This is, like... Wait. Do I just... No Twitch streaming today. I can't. I can't. I want to. I want to for sure, but I it's I don't know if they have Melusine. You know what I mean? Like they could just have a resurrection in their hand and then we just lose everything we work for. Will I be playing other factions today? Uh I don't know. I sort of get in my groove with one and then just see it through. Hard to say. Please don't screw me over here. Um Oh my gosh. Wow. I'm gonna have to go Fakusha into Coral. No push? I just pushed. Oh my.
GG. At least I have some damage in pocket. Wow. Like, the most important card you could ask for against the Melusine deck is not here. I think it's actually still a win, though, depending on what this next card is. It's looking good. Yeah, I think we got it. Above Witchers, which one? Probably Arnagod. I think that would be a really cool thing. Arnagod buff. Eight and three. That's pretty good. I did, a lot of it has to do with probably the fact that I'm just rusty, you know? So open a couple more kegs. And then we're going to move into the uh, the second portion of the stream, but we're coming back to Gwent after for a, a little while. So feel free to stick around, guys, and uh, yeah, man. <laughs> Remember how good my pulls were earlier? Yeah, Arnagod's a lot of fun. It's just not very good. It could be better. Arnagod got some buffs, kind of, with, like, Kyra Trolled and stuff like that, but... Okay, well, I think most of our luck expired earlier when we were opening kegs, because... Four legendaries on 18 kegs. Oops. It's ridiculous. Okay, give me like a minute or two, and then we'll switch over, and uh, we'll, we'll run some Raid Shadow Legends for a bit, guys. Um, and then we're going to, like I said, play some more Gwent. And uh, today, it would be nice if I can get to at least rank 6, like 2 ranks a day, 2 ranks per stream. Uh, that's something we can roll with, I think. You know? We're, we're chilling for like 4 or 5 hours a day kind of thing. Should be alright. Okay, give me a second, and then we'll get into it.
right. Don't worry, Gwent. We're coming back. What on earth? <laughs> Pope's Pigeon coming in with $399.99? That's like my... Gee, that's like half my rent, man. Holy crap. Unbelievable, bro. Dropping another bomb on the chat, bro. Listen, I hope you can stick around for a while. We're going to be going into another part of the stream for a bit. We're going to be doing a... Uh, little bit of a raid shadow legends run and then i'm going to be hopping back into some gwent we were playing some pirates earlier all was going well and uh if you're able to stick around then uh i guess i could play a deck that you want man that's huge huge donos man i feel like i owe you something <laughs> so if you have any recommendations of what you want to see played i'll get into that once we get back into the gwent portion of the stream all right let me know in the chat Sorry to burst your eardrums, guys. How's that for volume? Let's get some OKs on that. Loud enough, you we in? You can hear it? So I'm kind of a sweat. Kind of a sweat. If you guys remember, we did, uh, we played some raid a few months ago on stream. So we're doubling back on it now. Awesome. Super loud game. But uh, if you guys want to follow along with me, there is a uh, code that has been kind of running through the chat. If you missed it, you can get it in the description link. Basically, uh, it's your way to get a little bit of a, a courtesy gift for me. And, uh, and raid if you want to play the game you can download it on android ios take part in that as well pretty simple and straightforward what i like about it is the fact that you can basically just play it at your leisure it's not something you have to sit there and grind and if you only have a few minutes to play a game by all means you can just hop in for a few minutes oh whoops like i said i'm kind of a sweat there we go so we can, we'll get this one later So we'll jump into a few things here. I just got to basically go through my account and get rid of all these notifications because that's like a must do for me. Okay. They even got Prime Gaming Drops. I hope it doesn't dox me when I click it. You already know. Divine Artifact Pack.
Okay, I have it claimed. I'll, I'll go do it later just because uh, I'm not on Twitch right now. Um, kind of see where we're at as far as quests go. We got to use demon keys. We got to do some quests here. Dailies. Okay. We'll just sort of rattle them off one by one. I think we do with the dailies first. Fight in Classic Arena five times, summon three champions, use 50 energy. Fair enough. Okay. Level 900. It's been a while since I squatted up with this uh, with this little squad here, so I want to see how they perform. Using team setup lets you create saved teams of champ. You can even give them special instructions. We did this last time I played. Which skills you want them to use. Let's dive in and set up your first saved team. I remember her. That's like my best one. We got this like at the end of like a huge raid at the time or whatever we were doing. Don't use first use. Scepter of authority. We start off the round by just kind of letting him know who's boss. We'll start with that. Which one's this? Heals allies. I feel like this should be like done as needed. Spirit form. Revives a single ally. So they're like a healer. Attacks one enemy. Again, as needed. We'll just fill it up. I want to use the heavy hitters in this. Whoops. Something like that looks okay to me. I like putting this on auto battle. And just kind of watching it go along. It's easier for me. Plus, like, let's say you're at work or something like that. And... And you've got to basically, like, you know, put the phone down for a second. You can still actually progress in your game while you're, like, checking emails or whatever you got to do. So that's, like, the plus. Yo, Will, how you doing, man? Uh, holidays are pretty good. Spent some time with the family. Went to my dad's house for the first time in, like, five years on Christmas. Uh, it was good to see him like that, you know. We haven't really been celebrating the holidays, so uh, it's nice getting the whole family back together, you know. And, uh... Yeah, Happy New Year, and my new year was basically, I went to bed early, man. Did I get any gifts? Uh, I got a new pots and pans set for my house. It's a really nice one. Um, got uh, a couple pairs of shoes. And uh, what else? Some, like, small things, you know? Like, hygiene stuff and... Yeah, man. Yo, <laughs> we came in swinging. Look at that. No challenge for me. We just got to get five arenas done. What about you, Will? How'd uh, your Christmas go? You get any gifts? We're just chewing through these arenas, man. Okay. Don't forget that we've played before, yeah? So our stuff is actually like... It's not going to be like this if you're just starting in the game. You got to work up to this, man. Oh, never mind. We got one shot there. <laughs> Your brother came from Montreal? Right on. That's, uh... I thought he was in Saskatchewan. Different brother? Or is my memory bad?
Oh, you're at the gym. What are you training? Hold on, hold on. What is he? What are you? What are you training? Either way, I'll see you when you're back. We inflicted a lot of poison there, taking hard. Yeah. Listen, you knock our guy down, she's gonna run up and pull up on you, like, by herself. This is kind of even. We're obviously gonna win, but I don't like seeing two of them collapse like that. How many arenas was that? We did five, so the quest should be done. As far as I'm concerned, right? Is it, uh... Tag team arena. Nah. Do I have to? It looks like I have to. Welcome to the tag team arena where you'll need to assemble three separate teams of you'll earn What if I just try to back out of it? You'll also earn gold bars from tag arena battles, which can So we're gonna earn gold from tag team battles that we can use to get stuff out of this skill tree, okay? Climb the rankings for better rewards. Higher tier battles give you more gold. So just basically the rank system. Your tag arena tier determined and we don't have any gold yet. But I could see the value. Some of these are decent. Three star though. I would want like fours and fives. And then I'm trying to go back to the main menu after this. I want to see basically what the next challenge is. This is where you can fight against other players in real time. I'm all about rank. If there's a rank to climb, I'm about it. So I like how they actually do that. It's not just like straight single player because when games are just not competitive, it's like it better be a story game. UTC. I think that's five hours ahead. Okay, let me go back to the, the Bastion. There we go. Okay, so what do we do? We did... We did that one. Summon three champions. Mystery Shard, Ancient Shard. I've got 3k. So we gotta we gotta do broke summons. You yeah, gotta be careful on that. I'm not gonna be getting no sacreds, but <laughs> Yeah, look at these man. <laughs> this looks like the world ender. Holy crap. Yeah, I can't afford that. Wait, how do you increase summon chances by summoning champions at the same rarity? You must fill. If I had to choose, I would want this one. This guy's pretty cool too. But we're not going to be able to afford that right now, so let's stick to the ones we can afford. He's kind of cool. Common defense. Just like a brute, like a tank. Okay. I think we could do better than that. I think I'm reading this wrong. Three... Three thousand seven hundred and sixty-one K? Three thousand seven hundred and sixty-one. What happens? What happens if I just click? Okay. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Yo. 
He's got like 10 mouths. Yeah. That's the squad right there. He's going front line. Yeah, I forgot last time I played, I grinded quite a lot of stuff. Arndolf, which is more defense. I'm looking for a crazy DPS, man. Another defense. Yeah, that's the one we wanted. Okay, I'm, I'm equipping this one if I can. Yeah. I'll do I'll do one more. I'm trying to get the one that I'm actually looking for. Oh hey. So we had the shards for that. I might as well just use the shards that we have. Rare attack. Hey, yo. Demon mommy. Another defense. Okay, we got some pretty good summons off that. I'm going down the daily list here. Dun, mm, mm, mm. 50 energy. Beat, beat, beat. Most of these we three starred, but kind of want to see how our new squad can do on some new challenges, so. They arrived at Narbuck, where the temple was now consecrated to the cult of Sir. Gonna crack a second can of the day. Just uh, a little blue raspberry flavor, you know. It'll be the last energy drink of the weekend, but it is what it is. All right. Guided by their torches, they entered the catacombs where the wind howled with the anguished screams of the restless dead. As they sank deeper into the vaulted galleries, a voice on the wind became ever more distinct, now echoing words of protest. Stage one, scrubs. Easy. Okay, where's our new, new squad here? So he is the... I don't even know who should be the leader. This guy looks like he should be, but that's a defense. I think this was attack. I'm going to say she was attack as well. Um, let's put in our knight for defense. And then let's put in the healer in the back. I suppose you can get like an archer of sort, but I think this is just pretty good like this. Yeah. So team power 8,000 against like... A couple hundred. <laughs> Let's go. Taking more damage than I thought by this mob, especially on the middle two.
big crit. So, okay, hold up a second. He has a bow. So he could very well be in the back. We can have him in the back. And defense could even step in front of him so he could... So she should go in the front. He can go second. They can go third. And he can go in the back. That's probably why he was getting so much damage. Can we... Let's, let's respec. So... What was the move? It was uh, her in front. Second, third, fourth. I just feel like that's better. <laughs> like instant progress. Look at this. It's all about where you're standing, bro. Holy. We got a helmet out of that, a little bit of money. Yeah, this adds up pretty quick. What I was doing before was I was replaying the same quests over and over again and just farming material from the rewards because I knew that I was able to actually beat them. You know what I mean? So if like you feel like doing something like that, it shouldn't be too bad. Just to, to kind of like get your stuff together early game at least. Because if you try to like push through dungeons uh, without sort of grinding a little bit first, you're just going to have like two star and one star runs and they're not going to be that great. Nice. One of the challenges was 50 energy, so we're at like probably 12 or 16. I haven't chosen with an aura skill. I guess I should try. Is there a way to find out who has? Aura skill. Could just bless the healer up. Legendary mythical champions using their souls to unlock powerful blessings to help them in battle. Okay. Sure. Three rarities of blessings. Rare champions can only get rare blessings, etc. Okay. Dark resolve. That's what they want. Each blessing has six levels. Okay. How, how am I choosing it though? Blessing requirements. Oh, damn. Summon, ascend. I think we already ascended. Awaken. Only champions that have been awakened can get blessings. Aura. This one has an aura. So I think... So what, is, what does it say? It says, haven't chosen a champion with an aura. What if I just like promote to leader? Yeah, 
Yeah. So if we promote her to leader, then we get the like the actual bonus. So we had the configuration like decent, but we just had to do the one swap. I like how these guys are just like level 2 cleaning up. They're that busted. Next up, level 7 is 2 star. Continuous heal. Wish I can click on it to like read it in real time, sort of for an update. I got the craziest thing I'm gonna eat for dinner in a couple hours. I'm like actually excited about it. I was craving fettuccine so bad this week. And so I got some like fresh pasta and uh, got some chicken breast. I did up with like some broccoli, you know, a little Alfredo. And I, I made like a, a pretty big portion yesterday. And so I'm just gonna like rock it up again and Yeah, man, the um, the sort of like eating healthier thing has been going pretty well. I have I use like a calorie tracker and I'm like making sure I'm hitting like the right macros every day and it's it's been good. Um, it's not only good for weight loss though, it's actually good for like pointing out nutrition sort of deficiencies, you know what I mean? Like it's actually very difficult to eat a lot of fiber and like get like a lot of certain vitamins. So if you actually track it, then you're like, oh damn. Yeah, I gotta pick up on that. It's funny, it kind of feels like I'm playing a game, but I'm low-key just trying to figure out what to eat. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, uh, with the tracker. So, big dub two-star dub, though. It's only two, not three. Stage three, seven. I think they go up to 12. I like to like look at them afterwards and see which ones we got two stars on and try to figure out why, but it could just be because these guys are not stacked up yet. I don't think they have any custom gear. We just took them as is, right? guy's going for 10 buffs literally fighting the devil oh <laughs> i'm like that's actually a boss fight there we go there we go i was worried it wasn't gonna start ticking the company crashed into a chamber to find king taba strapped to a chair his captors forcing a brew down his throat. They made short work of the aggressors, then cut the king from his binds. I have been bewitched, he began in rasping breaths, forced to declare war. Then, handing them his royal signet, he said, Ask Queen Eva forgiveness for my forced betrayal. 
thank her for giving refuge to my people and request her help to find the cause of this, this shadow. Nice. So that's chapter four. Okay. Um, wait, uh, I'll, I'll watch this after. I want to go back to the thing. We literally did a whole chapter of the story, so kind of want to see where we're at. Okay. We got seven campaign battles out of the way for the quest. Increased champions level in tavern three times. Are we in the tab room right now? Just want to make sure. Select a champion. Let's focus on one of the new ones. Oh. Okay. We're throwing him in the bin. Uh, sorry, dude, but one star is not going to cut it with the squad this prestige. So, same to you. Nothing personal. Same to you. This champion can be used to fuse another champion. Are you sure you want to sacrifice this one? I guess they're actually... Oh, no, I don't. They're probably just worth keeping at that rate. Um... You sacrifice a third... These two are fusible. These are all like purple. What about this guy? Like, doesn't even have armor on, so. Yeah. Worth. Okay. Let's get him dripped up here. We got any level three armor minimum? That's gonna make a night and day difference. No pun intended. No shields though. Gloves. Check. Chest piece. Got it. Boots. Yeah. Shield. I feel like if he's going to be in the front row, he's got to have a lot of health. So we make him tanky with the life set. I just don't have a shield here. Nothing. Uh, let's get a ring on that. HP 81. HP 2%. HP 4. Sacred Order. Defense level 12. 4%, 3%, 180. This kind of looks proper. Only champions from Sacred Order faction. Co no! Where's this faction? Oh, we don't have any. That's annoying. Oh, never mind. This works. Okay, so he's like OP now. Done. And we got the daily for the upgrade three levels, right? Yeah. Make four artifacts slash accessory upgrade attempts. When they say attempt, does that mean you could just like queue it and then cancel it? Like if you can't afford it, let's see, an attempt. Uh, 
artifact. Oh, okay, I got you. It's one. Two. Three. Oh, it was four. Purchase an item at the market, then use 50 energy. So we're pretty much going to like buy something and then just do a few more missions and then we're done with the dailies. Let's get the free stuff at the shop too. Good. <laughs> Gauntlets. The hot pink gauntlet, 76,000. I have 3,200. 3,200. <laughs> 320,000. There, I'm allowed to flex. We're basically rich. And... 29 out of 50... Make a little clan real quick here. SSG or SNS Sunset. S. Let's do SSG. SS sounds pretty good too. No, well, there is a G. Yeah, yeah, SSG. Hopefully, no one took. No! What about. trying to coin this before anybody else does man qcg qcg yeah let's go we got the the qc gaming clan it's just me guys so uh <laughs> if you want to join my clan we could be sweaty So we, it's basically like you make a group and then you can kind of work towards things. I've seen stuff like this before. If there's like benefits for everyone who's involved, that's actually pretty sweet. Clan quest. It's, so it's like a basically a new quest line. Gotcha. Place 50. Okay, I'm going to see how these kind of pan out while I'm just running games and whatnot. Um... We said, we said 50 energy. Into the portal. 
Gotcha. I cannot afford that. I, I'm looking for the... Um, looking for the not live arena. Here, I'll do it from here. I just want to see how we did on the previous one. A lot of twos. But that was before we upgraded our gear on the guy. And, uh... And before we actually appointed the proper leader to the party, so... Being the perfectionist I am, though, I'd go back and I would redo it at some point. Uh, we're looking to get some... Let's see here. Just a bunch of three stars and a little bit of currency. So we know better. We put this in front. Um, the stack was going pretty well. I kind of want to... Let's see. Maybe we put... Let's put her instead. Switch up the attacker. We have to put him because he obviously just got buffed like crazy. And then uh, we'll put uh, we'll put him back in because he looks sick. But yeah, if you guys want to join the clan, though, it's QCG or QC Gaming. And, uh, hey, if we get enough people, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll install on my phone and we can run during the week. I, I'm looking for, like, little games to play on my breaks at work. <laughs> Unbelievable. Okay. It's, like, straight one shot. Four sweep. This last one, though, is putting up a fight, which is probably going to take down the score quite a bit. wasn't pretty obviously she's higher level i think than the other attacker that we had but it's uh it's about this guy i think who's kind of like dogging us a little bit not bad i like how he just walks up and just finishes it off for us So we spent just eight eight energy right there. So we're at 20, 29 before, 37. We need like 12 more to finish that daily. Yeah, these two are taking too long. To keep in mind, it's a double speed, right? So, like, they're tanking it too hard. Yeah, it's not going to be... 
Is there anything we could do? No, he's been upgraded like crazy. Whoops. Maybe I can pump some stuff into them before we get into it more. Um, she's already decked out though. Level 13. What about... You got anything she can wear? Whoops. Uh, obviously, she's not an orc. Here. What about this one? There. Click first and read later. That's what I'm all about. Um, skill. We've got skills on our level skills. Okay, we can maybe upgrade them. I like how they have the glossary, at least. It's a lot of terms to kind of get familiar with. Like, I'm at the point where when I play games like this, I, I, I kind of just act and see what happens. You know what I mean? Like, I just click things, upgrade things, and then kind of get the gist of it after the fact. Um, but learning the actual strategy is something I got to do more of. I mean, gear's all proper. Level's actually not bad either. I don't think she's the problem. Oh, what about this guy? Whoops. Mm -mm. Yeah, let's get him some gear. Minimum. Uh, Critical rate. We need a bow for him, though. He's an archer. At the very least, we could put like this set on him because it's not a bad set. Probably to give him a sword just so he has a backup, I guess. I don't know. I want to try the gloves we just bought for 80 grand, but it's got to wait a second. I mean, it's a five-star weapon, yeah. What is it? Cruel. Looks like some kind of, like... Throwing thing? Like, maybe like, with horns on it? I'm gonna have to see that in action. This guy looks like he could be... No, he's not. No. Alright, we don't have any rings for him. Either way... Just like night and day difference. If one of these came at you in real life, what would you do? <laughs> Stage one. Stage one, done, done, done. Stage five. There we go. So you still see him with his bow. Maybe if you change like where he's at in the party or it's just like the stats of that weapon but not actually holding it. I've seen before where you can even like toggle on and off if you want them to hold what you're equipping or just their default. Because sometimes you're equipping something that looks stupid, but it's actually busted. Nice. 
2,000 damage crit. They're hitting us for around the same... 3,000, okay. I was going to say, because they're hitting us for like 7, 800. 50 daily. Can you just click over it? There we go. So we got the red. Done. Weeklies. Claim the rewards completing all daily quests five times. Sunday's the first day of the week, so we got six more days to do it four more times. Ascend the champion one time. Uh, you have to get to level 20 to ascend them, but you can... Potions can be acquired from... Click. Open a magic keep for 24 hours. Sure. So if I'm looking to do a sender, then yeah, we got to basically just grind this out and get some of those. Okay. Um, we got one, two, three, four. F you could add a fifth. More defense, more attack. Two attacks. There's one attack here, one attack here, technically. We'll put him in. I want to see what he's all about. <laughs> yeah. So do we keep fighting her at different strengths is what I want to know. I'll run it again and see. I think I saw another dungeon map. Okay. Magic Keep. So we got 24 hours. So we have to grind that a bit more. Each day the Iron Twins affinity will change. Process is individual to each affinity. Beating each stage of the dungeon will of the affinity does not count for the others. That's actually important. So you have to essentially come in at the right times to get it done. Incentive to log in and do what you gotta do. Got more stuff in the shop? Hold up, hold up. Free... See the word free? Yeah. They always got to check, man. And if you guys are still looking for some free stuff, like I said, in the description, there's a link you can click, sign up through, get a gift. Okay, I think... My, my stuff that you're getting gets probably better than this right now. So you're good. Um, I want to go back to... Where was it? I lost what I was looking for. The... Uh, is it the in the it's not in the portal? I'm back where you open the door.
Either way. Whoops. It is... Great Hall? Nope. <laughs> I'm having like a moment. Um, it's probably right in front of me too. Mm -mm. Ah, that's fine. It is fine. Just open some some up here. We could sacrifice them. <laughs> the more we open to, the more we're contributing to challenges for later on in the the weaker months. So like, I don't mind just spending a little here. Uh, Shawnee level four. It's like Hunter, another one with a bow if we get tired of the main guy that we have right now. He is more like rare, but she looks pretty cool. Let's hit another 10 here. We have, actually, hold up a second. We already have him. Let's try and get the ones we don't here. Whoops. I never got this guy yet, though. I still want him. Tried to click the ten all, but then it, it just it, it didn't let me click ten all, so I'm just gonna one by one it. I might have misclicked it, but it's like a revenant. Gnarly skull's gone, <laughs> right at the eye. Oh, cool. It's not an actual person. It's a dog. That's one of my favorites. You can get pets in the game, too. Like, if I could make a whole squad with just, like, dogs, that'd be sick. Summon chance now. Holy. Not sure if he's uh, growing mold or he's made out of rocks. like a healer of some sort the staff yeah yeah is that the one no epic 140 it, that actually might have been the one that I was looking for the whole time I just figured when he spawned he'd have some kind of like thing around him you know some glow let's see it was in the, um, so bad at finding things. It was in yeah, that's him. I wish I had better gear to give him. 
little teddy bear. Teddy bear axe. Yeah, this guy's busted. Full energy, nice, nice. But yeah, man, we got the dailies done. We started working on the weeklies. It's going pretty well. Um, as far as as that goes, I, I like to just log into things and get my dailies out of the way and whatnot, so... You know, if you haven't played Raid before, good opportunity to kind of start with the free gifts that I'm able to extend to the viewers of the channel. So if you see a chat command coming down, uh, like a timer, or in the description of the video, you can click the link there to get started playing Raid and get a $20 gift courtesy of me and Raid. So there's definitely that. And if you guys want to sort of squad up, I got a clan going on, so uh, feel free to join that if you like. QC Gaming. If we get people in there, we can start completing some of these achievements together, right? And, uh, and just get some rewards for that and kind of fill it out, make it look nice. So yeah, it's been a blast, blast playing Raid, man. And uh, now we're going to actually transition back into uh, some more Gwent. So if you guys are looking forward to some of that, we'll get into it right away. But uh, I would say pretty good progress that we had there today in the session. Get a little Gwent back up here in a sec, and uh... in the meantime, I'm gonna use the restroom. So give me like a second to let that load up, and I'll be right back. All right, let's get back to stomping on the Gwent ladder, man. Uh, I wear the cap because it's cozy, because I like the brand. Um, because I also don't feel like shaving my head every day, you see? And my lights in my room, they put a really big, uh, they put a really big freaking glare on my head. So there's a few things, yeah. Also headphones. Uh, if your head's oily and you put your headphones on, I find it makes the headphones kind of dirty. But you can throw a hat in the wash if you need to. You can't really do that with your headphones. But, uh, yeah. Like, in my day-to-day, -day, like when I go do stuff, 
I'll, I'll rock the shave head. <laughs> but I only like shaving it like once or twice a week. So it's not an everyday thing. It's a, it's actually a pain. I just got a new shaver for my head around the holidays and it's been it's been going fairly well. Two boats. One oh my god, a mirror match? But yeah. Um Do I think Gwed's Gwent's dead or dying? I think there's still a lot of people that get pretty good viewership and uh uh, one point in the stream, we had, uh, I don't, I don't really know what the viewer count's looking like. One second. But there was one point in the stream where we had a hundred, a hundred plus viewers. It was like 130. So it was actually, and it says, it says good things about the game. Chill. Operator into a long ship gives me a long ship. <sighs> you guys like my little mascot for the channel? The day one sloth. I used to have like the sloth logo, but we uh, we switched out a bit a while ago. Got the sloth playing the switch. I'm playing Gwent. Bajira, welcome back in, bro. Yeah, dying is kind of a, a very dramatic way to say the game is going through changes. You know what I mean? People play single player card games all the time, right? Slay the Spire. All these roguelike games that are out there right now. And, uh... The way that I see it is like, at least we get the PvP aspect that we all like. But we don't have to always worry about new cards coming out, not being able to afford the new cards. We could focus on the cards that we have, you know what I'm saying? And uh, I think this boat's putting in too much work, but it's also bleeding. I don't want to kill it just yet. What if I just uh, other ship it, eat up some of that damage here? Gwent's changing, Gwent's not dying. Can't see, can't see what properly. The deck. Tell me the deck or. Which archetype was my favorite? I like. Uh, I like crimes quite a bit. And the sloth. I suppose I could. I can't really grab it, otherwise he'll drop the switch. Um, here. Stack this row. I'm beating them at their own game right now, which is brilliant. Look at this. Ah. Yeah. It's not a real sloth, come on now. The moment they gave me the free boat, I knew I had something going on for me here. They had the Supremacy. Supremacy's not a bad card. It's just not a card that we're playing today. One boat's good, the other boat's kind of sad. Gutting Slash maybe goes. Crack is really good. We can start getting things ready to go here. I have one pirate. I have potentially two pirates. We could pull into a third pirate. I think I'm supposed to keep everything the way that it is right now. I want to go to a short round three and just let them have it. So I'm going to go scenario. It's going to be nutty. It's going to be crazy. Right. 
We could take the the trolled carryover as well. And then we could take maybe the discard stuff. Because I'd like to be able to pull into Fakusha and Heat Wave late game. That's what they're doing, you see? Fair enough. Just, I don't think that you're actually going to be able to pull off that great sword. I would like to maybe remove it this turn, though, to be honest with you. Um, which is... Hey, thanks. This is definitely where the fun begins. I want to kill this damn thing. It's just I can't really play a pirate beside it unless I roll one off of this and it's kind of an RNG thing, so... I think we just take the RNG then. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. I don't even care. Yeah. Whatever, I might as well just use it for the, the actual carryover value it has. I kind of want to save these, though. We work hard for this, man. They're going to spend everything they've got. Let's go. Not very nice. Kind of a bully. What are you doing? Stop it. Yo, bulk leader charges out of the way. This is the win. Just a casual nine point Mork. I guess it's like padding to soak up some of the Cataclysm on the board. Cho. Oh, back to my archetypes. Harmony, believe it or not, is one of my favorite archetypes ever in the game. It's just, it was so abused in 2022 that, like, it sort of put me off, you know? Um, but regardless, it's still one of my favorite archetypes. Like, old Harmony was a lot of fun. New Harmony is still kind of fun, but... I haven't tried Harmony this season, so I couldn't be able to tell you that. But I would say, based on what I've seen so far, yes. People are going tall with Gurney. People are... But also, I can't really comment too much on it because of the rank that we're at, right? I can just What time do I have? Right now, I live in Canada. I live in Ontario, so the capital of Canada. And uh, it's 4.24 p.m. I think I'm just going to keep playing. I don't think they have any pirates to proc and heal. Because I'm not trying to actually 2-0. And because this boat heals itself or respawns. So there's not really a point. It could be the best heat wave I get. It puts them at 11 points. There's that. They don't really go tall besides that. So that could go on. But uh, other than that, like, it's not going to be a 2-0. I'm just trying to get card advantage or just get out everything that I think is important and get the sword really tough. In fact, I think trading a boat wouldn't be such a bad idea. And that's when I didn't do math.
we can go unitless for a, a turn or so. Yeah, nice. Terror the Seas at 9. Good. Nice. <sighs> Should be pretty good because uh, we get... We get potentially Fakusha coming out here. We thinned more than they did. I get back Erendite. There we go. And we can play Corsair. I think we just play Corsair for the, the deploy points that it has. And it doesn't go tall, so they don't get good removal trade. This should just be a win. I can't really picture them playing something that we can't handle. while we have it. Women, children, elders. I forgot about that. Death wish. Whoops. <laughs> we win this plus the blender. Could have been like six points better for us, but whatever. What I've been finding is that um, when we prioritize actually playing the scenario early or into a bleed, we actually get to play it properly. But when we try to save it for round three, that's when we get in ourselves like a position where we're not playing it properly. You know, we're not getting the third card that we need or whatever the case. So I don't mind playing it early. But in this matchup, it's kind of questionable. Like, it feels like we'd want to save it. Wow. Good? I don't think Erendite gets a whole lot of value in this matchup if it's Knights. Um, I'm going to put you back for now. We'll start off with the crack into these guys, maybe. Yeah, we got three boats we could hook up here. And then if they do play any engines like uh, Sorcerer, you know, and Immortal and that whole combo, if it is what I'm thinking it is, then it shouldn't be too bad. I don't think I'm actually going to go and play these boats into crack, though. So we're just going to have to put this on melee because we want to get these nice and tall. There is a line where we maybe take back crack later with Fakusha and then do it then. But for now, I want to see if I can hold these and get them like to four, five, six. Sick. I'm gonna take troll here first. I'm gonna go for like a just cause discard. I actually don't want to take a lot of discard in this round. Just because I, I want to keep these. And if I start pulling into stuff I can't discard. But then again, my pretty much my whole deck is bronze at this point. So It's not really that risky. Do you know about Skellige's bug deck? No, I don't. What happened? 
It's bugged? Like, what What interaction's not working properly? Get me. Yeah, Pope coming in with a heater. Don't know, man. Like, unbelievable, man. Shout out to Pope. Hopefully he's still around. Uh, if he has any deck requests he wants me to play, I'm, I'm totally down. Just uh, an FYI. Okay, I think I'm going to take Coral here. At least I have something I can play proactively. This guy's not not actually gonna play in. They played a boiling. I don't know if they have a second one, so that should just stick. Do you think we should pass? I'm kind of feeling like a oh. My Erendite's way better than their Erendite. There should be zero points. Mine's five. I have Kyre Trolled on the card uh, do uh, board. <laughs> That's basically another card. We drew the whole damn deck. That's basically another. Peller actually feels good in this matchup. We get that boat guaranteed. Oh, man. We have pirates, though. So I'm going to have to fish for pirates. There's one, two. Good. Am I preferring YouTube more than Twitch? Um, to be honest, YouTube just did a bunch of updates, and I find them very confusing. But so did Twitch. So I... I, I... I don't know. Um... I intend on streaming on Twitch as well, and um, I just, I don't know, I'm so indecisive with it. Um, my Twitch channel is not as big as my YouTube channel, so, like, from a brand perspective, I guess most of them prefer the YouTube, uh, as far as, like, uh, my personal preference. Um, they both have their perks. I know Twitch is a little bit more user-friendly for Gwent because it's got the Observer, right? Also, the chat's a little bit easier to navigate because on YouTube, I have to load up another tab as well. What happened? Heat wave? Okay. That kind of hurts, man. At least we trade that. I know a lot of you guys can't go... You can't make it to the Twitch either. So how would that affect you guys if, like, I was to stream on Twitch? What? What, 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 what do we need this for? Oh, they changed it. I guess giving Veil wasn't... Giving Veil wasn't really that great. No, I... I listen, I... I intend on... Uh, because of, like, the limited amount of time that I have right now, it would probably be more strategic for me if I was to, like, stream on Twitch and upload on YouTube so I can spread a little bit wider, you know? YouTube, though, the streams stay up forever, which is nice. This guy's, like, no units for you. Any, watch we don't even draw Erendite. Yo! Yo!
<laughs> nice leader, bro. I might as well just let this sit for a minute and then do it next turn. Please check the video you posted after the game. Where did you post it? Uh, links are not turned on for um, in the stream. So if you posted it here, I won't be able to see it. I'm sorry, but I have to make him rage quit. He's going to. And that's how you do it. Video tile is Gwent slash multiple plays for a hundred points. I like how I type Gwent a hundred and then people are like, the, the the search thing is um Gwent 100% win rate multiple plays for 100 points oh it's a it's a kung fu video Okay, this video is like 30 minutes long. Obviously, I won't have time to watch it right now. But in summary, um, uh, Midas, can you just like sort of give me a rundown of like what the interaction is? Because it looks like they had Sienna. It looks like they had Heimei Protectors going on. It looks like they had... Man, I just closed it. Now I gotta, f <laughs> I gotta find it again. Um, double points... They had ale 20, 25 minutes in. 25.50. Okay, first of all, the opponent he's playing against has like 100 archers. Wait, I don't understand that. He put... He put Iris down? He put Iris down on... Uh... Where is she? He put Iris down on Terror, and then Iris boosted to 99? But it, it didn't have 99 armor? Am I missing something? 
Yo, snail. How's it going? So, by playing it now, guys, you should be careful, okay? Because, like, if you know it's an exploit and then you play it, that's, like, bannable, right? But if if you just figured out the exploit by accident like he did, then I don't think it should be a problem. You know what I mean? That's definitely bugged. <laughs> like, what is this 99? How long ago was that? Did they patch it yet, or is it still bugged? Okay, vampires could actually be a problem for us. <laughs> At least we're on red coin. Still bugged as of... To come across a lot. That's not right, though. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I could see a difference, like, if you're playing it against, like, a friend for a friendly, you know? Or... Maybe at the at the worst, let's say you're playing it in casual. That might even be amusing. Crack and eat me girly. Look in here. Once you start queuing into rank with an exploit, it's kind of cheesy. You know what I mean? Like, people play games for fun. And then, like, you play games to cheat. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, it's a slippery slope there. It's like... You just gotta be careful. I'd hate to see any of you guys get banned for, for something dumb, you know? All the progress that you get on the account, too. Uh. Oh, let's see if we can snipe out some of these. There we go. Good stuff. Honestly, though, this matchup feels very hard for me. Because they have tempo out the gate when they're playing Renfree. And my Aerondite's going to be worth nothing. And if I don't get last say, they just abuse Triss or Yennefer? Bro, Yen. I've dated both. I've dated a Triss, at, uh, at least a Triss. One, 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 like, pretty close Triss. And uh, a couple Yens. But uh, I, I guess I'm just more of a Yen guy. Nothing wrong with Tris, though, you know? Shawnee, you're so different. <laughs> Edgy. Yeah, Shawnee doesn't get enough love. People often forget about Shawnee. Chio, I didn't even notice that, man. The longer we stay in, the worse that it gets. 19 points. Two, three bleeding. You're about to see something pretty wild, guys. I 
can't look at Siri like that. I have a cat named Siri, man. That, that's fucked up, dude. Play your run free now. That felt good, but now we have no heat wave for the late game. Whoops. Yeah, but the thing is, like, every competitive game will always have a best way of doing something, right? Like, you play Apex Legends, a shooter. There are guns that are better than other guns that everyone's going to pick up. Even though there's not, like, any sort of, like, skill or pay to win with, like, what you pick up, there are just some things that are better than others. Now... This game is like no different. There's got to be some stuff that's more oppressive than others, but you know, uh, I think that the problem is just leaving it, you know, at the top of the meta for so long. That's an issue, right? That might actually be, I think, I think it's this. I'm going to bleed three. We're going to take back five of these guys. Ah. <laughs> All right. We went on even. That was hard fought round one. Reaver. Uh... Reaver's deck, if you... Wait, have you been playing for a long time? Are you new? Or, like, you've you you you've been around, like, like years and years, yeah? Uh, Reaver's is like a shell of its former self. I'm gonna put back scenario. This is weird. We played all the discard stuff and Fakusha, and we just have more Quark. Yeah, one last bird. Let's go. Let's go. This one goes out to all you guys who absolutely hate Ren Free Vampires. It doesn't mean we win, though. How's it going? Any future plans? Uh, honestly, I'm adjusting to my new job. It's been going pretty well so far. Um, that's something I've been on. My I have a goal to lose 32 pounds before June, um, according to what my tracker says if I eat the way that I keep eating. So um, if I can hit 200 again, that'll be sick. I just hit 227 this morning. So I'm like 27 pounds away from where would be a good foundation to restart because i got kind of fat over <laughs> the last couple of years um and then uh yeah man as far as content goes um i'm gonna still play gwent because i enjoy it right as far as growing the channel um i'm still figuring that out i i have a i have a esports team for for marvel snap that i joined that my friend made and, uh, and, uh, yeah, it's been going pretty well. I dabble with that game when I'm, like, at work because I can play, like, two-minute games on my phone uh, when I have a few moments or whatever the case. And, like, right now I'm top, I think, 8,000 in, in that game. So I might maybe stream it. I'm actually not bad at it. But I don't think that's going to be, like, the main focus. 
I, I don't really like the idea anymore of picking one game for my channel and just that being the focal point because if the game, if anything happens to it, so does your <laughs> your whole endeavors, you know what I mean? So uh, I'm probably going to be planting more seeds than just one and I hope that you guys appreciate that. You know, there might not be things like every time that you're like, oh, I love that game, but it doesn't mean that's all I'm going to be playing. And I think people need to realize like when they see creators, like it's they're, they're not just a such and such creator unless they choose to be, you know? Um, so yeah, I'm not saying I'm only a one game person. I just don't know. It's a lot of stuff to think about, like how am I going to approach it? What am I going to bring that's new to the table? You know, uh, that's kind of where I'm at. Like, it's sort of actually one of the hardest parts about getting into streaming any other game is like, I'm just like, what can I do that hasn't been done? And I was able to do that with Gwent. When I when I when I came in, I felt like I was I was kind of uh, you know doing what I had to do. But uh, yeah, that's sort of been uh, that and just being busy have been the two sort of things that have been preventing me from uh, sort of getting started sooner. Uh, crack comes out right now. My new job is... Uh, oh, they played it ranged. My new job is... Uh, it's essentially like um, managing construction projects on like a smaller scale, like uh, kitchen renos and bathroom renos and stuff like that. I work for like a stone and tile depot and uh, I, I help the contractors get the things they need to get the jobs done. And then I sort of like, you know, there's that part. And then there are some times where people, they want a job done, but they don't know how to do it. And so then I get someone to do it for them and I make sure it gets done properly. That's pretty much it. So I spend some time on the computer, and I spend some time in the warehouse. It's a little bit of both. <laughs> what is this deck, man? It's kind of interesting. Self-poison, going ham. Leader, going spend. And, uh... That's the first time I've, like, ever bricked that card. Whatever. Yeah, oh, I know why I bricked it. Because they pulled this out of the deck and I knew I had a boat for it. <laughs> nice four point for seven provision. Let's go. I feel like we just stay in this for the, uh, just for the fact that it's actually getting us points, like for carryover. And it's actually attainable here, right? They get one bleeding, two bleeding. A lot of carryover. Teller could be good. This is definitely not. I'm not going tall, so I don't really care if they poison me. It's about just them poisoning them. You know what? I think I'm just going to dump them for now, believe it or not. He's really good to purify my engines or something that I have that's tall, but we're not going tall right now. Sword's bad too, so there's no boost off that.
I actually think I'm gonna I'm gonna take a burner. We shall do it my way. We didn't get through enough of the deck early on, like we still have all the discard stuff, and I'm not running into that problem again. That game where we missed the heat wave and two skirms was terrible. I kind of have pushing power, don't I? Should I do that again sometime, or is it like, it, it, has it lost its sort of like luster? I did that right before Renfrey came out too, so it was a little bit of a different, uh, different type of thing. Do I heat wave this? I think so. Free coin for the rest of the game. Nah. Sword's gonna get the value out of this round. Still full leader, which is crazy as well. I like uh, what they're doing here. I think their intentions are pure. But where are the gold cards? I also noticed that they're using portal with deploys, right? It would be good if they had failed experiment off that. They must have the other... Yo! One Philippa and I'm a card down. Yeah, it's like that sometimes, you know? The fact that they spent all their coins here, though, means that at this rate, they get a two-coin carryover going into round three. We're up by five points. They have to finish the poison, so they can't self-poison to get the value there. So we could pass on this turn and get our card and keep all the carryover from the sword and all the armor that we got. So I think that's what I'm going to do once this game decides to unfreeze, is just go and do that. Let's pass. If they let me. Seven, five. It's reasonable. This is going to be at six. Okay. We still have full leader, by the way. Is it addictive? Ever so slightly, I think. Now we actually just get to respond to everything they play, which is great. Because it looks like they're more of a like straight self-poison payoff type deck. M more than, you know, just control. And their poisons aren't very good on our side either way. They're going to take out a 7 at best. What do we have left in the deck? Everything is gold. We have... Okay, we have at least Berna. I'm going to take Berna, get rid of the Morkvarg, try to find something good. Honestly, I would like to have either Trolled or Coral at this point. Now let that get out of hand here. Horde deck with scenario? Yeah. Yeah, we can have a look at that. I haven't had a chance to play the, the new um the new tutor that they have either, so Horde with scenario. I like using poison package with Horde. You're talking about uh, Passiflora, or you're talking about the other scenario, Treasure.
I think I'm probably going to chuck away the Corsair and the Morkvark. And I'm not going to play in the crack. Maybe the Raider, but... Treasury? Okay, I don't have a lot of experience playing it, but here goes, you know? I guess you'd use Hidden Cash. Oh, stay. <laughs> yeah, I think there's a couple a couple strong masquerade ball decks, but All right, we hit rank 6. Let's go. Yo, do you like, do you like how I just like had the perfect amount of damage, just the perfect, not even a point spillover to kill the the Rayla? That was probably what triggered them. <laughs> They're like, "Fuck you, bro." <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna brew up another deck in a second here. I, I'm just gonna again uh, use the restroom one more time, and uh, we'll we'll get into building some uh, some horde. Okay. Guys, we're talking about building a hidden cash deck with treasure, um, and that whole works. So if you guys have any suggestions of cards that we should include no matter what, let me know in the chat, and uh, I'll be back in like a second here, okay? All right. Let's see here. We got a couple good ranks with SK. I'm going to paste the link to the deck in the chat just one more time for you guys here if you want to try to copy it. Add your own flavor. It's been pretty good. 11 and 11 or 12 and 3. Not bad. They buffed Hidden Cash, that's nice. Back to 15? 
Marquise. Gotta get cozy, man. All right. This is how it all starts, man. First time playing her. Profit four, deploy summon a sly seductress from your deck to this row. Deploy range, summon a peach. Tribute eight, summon both. Horde. We go peaches. We go. I guess we're using treasure huntress in this deck too. We're using Jackals. We're using Boat. We're using Forgotten Treasures. I gotta just read up on this one more time. Progress whenever you play a Tide Cloak. Spawn Gudrun on this row. Chapter 1. Horde 8 at the end of your turn. Gain enough coins to fill your pouch. Damage the highest power enemy unit by the number of coins you have. B3 Horde 9. Reduced by 2 because leader. An enemy unit with whenever this, uh, whenever your opponent gains coins, damage so by one. At the end of your turn, damage on an enemy unit by two, death blow, gain two coins. They actually made her disgusting. So we have to put her in. Um, and what would a horde be without Saul? Mm, I wonder if we ever do double scenario. Have any of you guys had any experience with double scenario? How's it been going for you guys so far? Raiders are actually a consideration as well. We have boat for thin. I'm trying to be authentic with this one here. I don't want to start throwing in 126 neutral cards. Um, deploy spawn three base copies of self that a row. Reduce the number of copies by one for each counter. Your court requires one less. Horde nine, yada yada. I don't know how I feel about Flinders crew. Yo, Ez. You came to the right place, man. I'm going to round it out with Bincy first. Bincy and MK are like my go-tos. Tried and true classics for an archetype, man. I'm telling you. Okay. And I would like... First game in. Oh my god! DJ it. <laughs> okay, we got treasures. Tiger's Eye for the treasures. Cove type situation. Forgotten treasures. Um, Let's sort it out by Cindy. Can we go Devotion? I wonder if we could actually pull off Devo. It might be possible that we... Should we just try Devotion? Flinders crew. Spawn three base copies of self on this row. Reduce the number of copies by one for each counter. Your horde requires one less coins to trigger. So as the game goes on, the card gets worse. Or as the, or as it, Am I reading it wrong? It gets better. It's reversed. Ah, fuck it. Let's try it. Did I go to the gym today? No, I literally woke up and uh, I got ready. Um, I got ready to do this. 
had breakfast here and uh it's 5 p.m uh we're getting there we're getting there for sure two I think I want these. There is a consideration to go with Adriano, which is not a bad idea. But we're not using Passiflora. I like poison. I have enough for like an 8 and a 5. I also wouldn't mind playing Jacques. That looks good. This looks good. Actually, sorry, he's sleeping. Remember someone said they were sleeping. Um, yo, appreciate that, man. Uh, yeah, like, I'm not quitting. So whenever you feel like kind of just, you know, reminiscent about Gwent, feel free to come back and hang out. Um... <laughs> This deck is so busted in Gwentfinity 2.0. All right, this is what we're working with so far. I'll post it in the chat if you guys want to see it. Um, and then as we play a couple games, we're gonna we're gonna kind of tweak it up a little bit. What I might actually do with this one here is I might try it for a few games on stream tonight, mess around with it a little bit more during the next stream, and or if I play off stream and go from there. Um, I have some, fuck, <laughs> no candle, goes right back into deck builder. Um, did they nerf it to a nine now, or is it still... One thin, two thin. Vivaldi Bank is probably a go-to as well, unfortunately. Did they buff Bank to... They made Bank 10? I guess we could take out Jock. Yeah. I feel that. A lot of people quit then, but it's still the same game. Um... Turn a 5 into an 8. Yeah, that's what we're doing. I'm excited. The 
Cause it's all looking like where I want it to be and what I want to play. It's just that I'm thinking one of something has to go in order to make room for something else. I have two tied cloak. One, two, uh, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, we have no shortage of cloaks. I don't know if we need hideout in a deck like this. We might not. A freak show could be actually very good. Hammond could be an interesting tech. Two seduct. Well, they are bonded after all, right? You know, we could just make it a little better for ourselves by putting in Adriano. And at least now we're kind of getting a bonded round with them. Why not put the Vice 8 to destroy it? That's also a good option. But we're not playing Akarancho with this. And this is more of a... This feels more like a spend down to me when we're trying to hoard. But Ixora is like really good. It's okay, we have the poison package and all that. What about fee one thinning unit? You guys need to hit me with some names. This one? I had a Zara in there before. But then a Zara, it, it makes its way of one provision that's like unaccounted for. I have candle in case things get bad. It's hard to say. Listen, we can we can go at this all day. This is take number one. The clowns. Oh, okay, you're you're talking that direction. Uh, I do have tide cloak. Uh, I do have the the sewer raiders. I don't have the the uh, the bouncers. I wish you told me that a little sooner. <laughs> Before I queued. It's all good, man. We'll do what we can. Yeah, it should be all right. She's only getting away. Huh. 
If it's Kelly, then I'm thinking. Hey, Mr. D. Yeah, it looks like Kelly to me. Of course I speak Arabic. Kifik. No, I actually... <laughs> don't test me, I don't know much. I have a lot of uh, Arabic friends. Blue ship always carries against Kelly unless they squirrel me. That hurts so bad. Why? Ships are over races. Mm. hoping they burn the boat a second time. The Kelly King gets Kellyed. I suppose Coxstein wouldn't be a bad idea either, but that's more of a cash deck for um, for hidden cash scenario, like the Past Flora. I guess they're both hidden cash scenarios. Boat down quickly so they can't banish it. I think we rock it for a 50-50 real quick. Oh, this is crazy. They're doing that deck. Yeah. <sighs> that hurts. Maybe I should not spend on that and just spend on this instead, my bad. That was an F, and I lost a coin here. I love Kelly, man. But I do Kelly too often. I gotta figure out a way to, like, make this round three work. We can't play a lot of units, but we have a lot of units to play, and I can't get around a defender. And they took out my junior, so it's like all my control. This could eat up some stuff for a while.
scenarios at the bottom of the deck. Nice. Blue ship gone. Yo, Noel, how you doing? A lot of things I want to get online here. It's just unfortunate that we're playing against literally a status control deck when we have infusions and poisons. So now I can't even touch this. But if I had the other card, destroy lowest, man, we're going to have to like maybe tech it in. on the right side of the page. all we can do let them burn through threes for a second yo raiden what's up man <clears throat> i've been talking for so much today <laughs> that my throat's getting dry Carry over into oh never mind that's literally double S saying oh jeez we can't win this game blue monster it's actually rain. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Oh, awkward? What do you what do you mean by that? <laughs> Don't cross the streets. Uh if I can boost this thing up a little bit more. I guess you're right, this side, right? <sighs> Fine, I'll just pay the friggin' thing. Actually, no.
I gotta make sure the cod walls don't leave. Watch, he just has a heat wave. He could have killed it. Damn. You're right, you're right. I only loot corpses. Except sometimes they're quite fresh. We're at rank six now. We started the stream at rank eight. We should be getting back to pro in good time. This is my first game trying this version of the deck. So I don't really know where I want to see it go yet, but the realm <clears throat> severs your chain. Abandon now your mortal stain. case they take direct damage on it we lose about eight points they gain <laughs> what a troll Did it again. Man. That was so funny. I was thinking heat wave or nah. And then they just said, all right, enough's enough. Take the spores. All right. I think this might be the last game for today. But, uh... I put, uh, Eroxa. Instead of, uh, Adriano. And I forgot about the bouncers. But I don't even know if we need... Well, we take bouncers... Damn, okay. This is going to be a work in progress, isn't it? A lot. Oh, yo, the trolls, man. Last game for the month? No, last game for the day, man. Um, for what it's worth, uh, how do you guys feel about maybe, maybe hanging out on Twitch this week? Because I don't mind, I don't mind hopping on when I can this week, but I can't promise like a five hour stream. It would have to be around 7 p.m. Eastern. I work tomorrow till five. Usually my Mondays are more like admin that doesn't take a whole lot. Like uh, there's not a lot that's going to keep me later or whatever. 
And traffic's usually so-so. Oh my god, this guy just uses leader. Holy crap. Um... What about Kung Fu? That's not Kung Fu. Wait. <laughs> I'm gonna pretend. Like, it's not even really that good of a move. I had this awkward case of over-profiting right now and not really having much to do about it. I think, uh... We'll just do that. Just to get the cards out. And then I'll go for the profit next turn. Like, it feels pretty bad having to do that. That's an issue. Like, It's like you have to have a board state that supports... Oh, he's doing a meta report? Is that what you're saying? Only one will walk away from this. Dude, do you think we could pass on that? That's cool. Vader keeps getting bigger and bigger. But where are the decks now? Don't know. I get a decent amount of points on that pass. It forces them to use the tall punish if they got one. They could take Kyalmar here on the... That could be a thing. They take Kyalmar like on the invader or on the Yuda and then... Ta-da. Oh, I don't know what you're... I actually don't know what you're talking about. You're, you're asking me where the decks are? Like my decks? Or his decks? Yeah, I mean, Clans just does it too. Oh, what are the best? <laughs> Jeez. Uh, the best decks, I don't know. Like, it's been too soon to, uh, to to sort of comment on, right? We've only played maybe 15, 20 games with this patch. That's a really good hand. I wish, uh, I wish CDP would post about the, like, the changes on, uh, like, from the balance council. I wish that information would be posted online, like, on their site. Or is it all within just the balance council app? I think Vice is really good. Once like it's understood now, you know, like people watching the tournament, they they saw kind of how it rolls out, and they're like, oh, I can do that. And you know, I think uh, some of the cards were slept on, like Ixora was slept on at the beginning, Akarancha slept on at the beginning. What a time to be alive. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but uh, yeah, I mean, sleeper cards for sure. This isn't going so badly though. Um, bouncers. Yeah, if we're going to put in the bouncers, what are we going to take out to put them in? Control the docks, 
control the city. It's like everything kind of just fits. The fist techs and the, the traffickers are important for removal. We need the cloaks. Or, sorry, the jackals. And then, um... Honestly, I, I'm not, I don't love this card. But I could see why it would be important when we get scenario down. Yes. Blood first foul blood. Huh? Wait. Haven't tied plunder for the high roll. So just swing them all. One seductress less. It's powerful again, but yeah, you're right. It's not like overly synergistic with this combo. It just fits with uh I could just kill that I want to keep her alive. Never seen the scenario. It's one of the newer ones. This is going to hurt. This is a... Uh each turn type situation. <laughs> Fuck. I really like her with him though. This is nutty. Yeah, it, like it, it's a nightmare they don't even know they have. And imagine Ixora coming down on friggin' like uh, the invader. Where did it go? Oh, no way. They gave it. Tear, tear, tear. Thank you. Thank you. Ambitious to think that it's going to stick. Yeah, it, it's got to be up there. I like how they're all sixes. We got to capitalize on this ASAP. We hit the one we don't need. Depending on art, if they have Morkvarg, we can win this. Because the combo is going to be nasty. We can infuse double with the shield on her. What do you need? 
They're gonna pull the 13 out. No? Out of all things. Um, it's Horde 6 now. I should have been, I should have taken another infusion there. That was my bad. I'm just sort of getting back in the swing of this one. We're up by a considerable amount of points, but you got to remember that they have that 26, 28 point swing in the hand, possibly 30 points. This is a bad matchup for Horde, but we're still kind of doing something here. Seven coins. If I had Bincy here, it'd be crazy. So it just comes down to point slam now. If I micromanaged my situation a little bit better, we would have actually won that game. That's the crazy part about it. That's actually the crazy part about it, right? Because we were shy by a couple points. Ah, uh, you know, I wasn't even thinking we were in the same friggin' arena, you know? But, uh, yeah, if we dialed in on that a little bit more... It was actually winnable. But you know what that tells me? That tells me that it's actually not a bad deck. Give me a second here. Um, bouncers are going to have to go in. Bouncers. Where are they? You guys are liars. Oh, never mind. Thanks. Um, we got the bouncers. Okay, you think one of the slides goes? Flinders crew's kind of whack. Am I just am I am I just not seeing it right? It to me. What seems strange? Yo, what what are you thinking? As far as, like, do you actually think that that this? Uh, like, am, am, am I just reading it wrong? I just felt like uh, it was like oh, underwhelming. The crew, Flinders crew. I can't remove I can't start removing all the peaches and all the 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 seductresses like we need actual cards. You know what I might do for now though?
trust you on the plunder. It's not actually that bad because it could proc scenario 2 with another jackal. I see the merit. Oh, whoops, I didn't mean to take it out. I'll put it right back. Uh... So much screen time. Where is the card that's supposed to be in front of me? Sewer Raiders. Oh, it's a four now. I didn't even realize. <clears throat> Seven. Seven. I could do six and five. I, I think I want to put the poison stuff back in. Twenty seven. If I take out Exora for now, and I take out one Sly. Okay, fine. They have to go. We need more expensive cards. I'll put the Sly back in. Sly. We just go to the top end, straight to the top end here. Townsfolk. Mutated Hounds. Professor... It's too expensive. Philippa's kind of cool. Azar makes sense. I think we can all agree Azar is actually kind of like a good take on this. Because we have a lot of stuff we need to protect, especially against like those. Well, I mean, it saves you the time and trouble, right? I'll put this in the chat when once I make the next two changes, if you want to use it up. Azar's looking proper here, and then that gives me room to play at five. If I don't gamble, or... Listen, I can make everybody happy with one thing. Plunder to be safe, and then it allows me a flex pick at six, which could actually be um, important. Or, I think I like Freak Show, though. Mm -hmm. Freak Show. Townsfolk and Squirrel. I'm it's actually devotion right now. I could do a uh, one townsfolk. I could do a collector. One townsfolk, one collector. That could actually be a thing. Or one townsfolk and one plunder. 
which could also be a thing. Townsfolk, plunder. This makes a spender in case this gives us an extra option for pulling. Like, we can use this to pull bouncers, could we not? So there's that. But then there's also Jackal off of it. And then... Yeah, it does profit like no one's business. This kind of looks nice. Okay, listen, I'm going to actually... I'm going to put this one in the calendar, all right, guys? Tomorrow... Tomorrow, let's head over to Twitch. Okay. And... 7 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time or Eastern Standard Time. Uh, bank? I don't think we need bank. Um, because we got one thin, two thin, three thins. Oh, we have bank. So Novograd, four bank. Novograd, four bank. Anyways, uh, we have a lot of thins. Um, 7 p.m. Eastern time tomorrow on Twitch. I'm going to do a stream. We're going to play this deck. We're going to continue with it. And we're going to refine it to the point where I'm happy with it. And then we'll go from there with that deck. Maybe I'll make a guide on it. Um, I might have another look at the Skellige deck just so I have a couple decks that I'm like, okay, these are actually working. And uh, if all goes well, 12 and 5, not bad for the first day back um, this season, you know? Uh, if all goes well, tomorrow we hit like rank two, rank three during the stream, rank, rank four. Yeah, let's get back to that rank one to three, you know, in the same arena as the pros. You know what I mean? So tomorrow, guys, if you want to hang out. Can't end on a loss. Trust me, trust me. Uh, <laughs> tomorrow, tomorrow we're going to get our wins. We have an empty mosaic anyways, so we'll just fill it up from empty tomorrow. Um, but yeah, I'd love to see you guys there. If you guys aren't following me on Twitch, go ahead, drop a follow on Twitch. So you don't want to go live tomorrow. And I appreciate everybody coming out after, you know, a few weeks of being off, um, to support the stream here today. And, uh, it's been great. I appreciate all the, you know, Returning viewers, new viewers, new subs. I see a lot of new subs coming in on the YouTube. Well, a good handful. Uh, very generous dono from Pope's Pigeon. Again, shout out to you for that one. Thank you so much. And uh, I'm going to work on getting this deck in a place where it's like, it's looking really nice, okay? So for now, I'm going to post the uh, sort of like our take two version of this deck. And I'm going to put that here for us. And then we'll work on it tomorrow. And if you guys come up with any synergies or changes that you think I should consider tomorrow and you want to talk about it sooner, just message me on the Discord. I know some people are still active in the Discord looking for people to talk about Gwent with. If you guys want to join the Discord, exclamation Discord gets you there. Otherwise, it's in my About page. We still have hundreds and hundreds of people in there that still love the game. So um, for those who think Gwent's dead, you know, say that to everybody else in the Discord. So, uh, yeah. Honestly, nothing but vibes today. Appreciate it again. That's all I could say. We'll see you then, okay? Thank you, guys.